coming at you live from the Free Play Away Game Studios 2.0, where if I sound out of breath, it's because I may have just done a bunch of push-ups. But I am here to tell you first and foremost that Free Play Richardson is open tonight. I will be there. I will not be huffing and puffing quite as bad unless I lose to Michael Beltran, in which case I'm doing more push-ups. That's the way that works. But uh, yeah, Free Play Richardson is open, and if you didn't see our post, it is a special day at Free Play Richardson where we do a little bit of an experiment. We have AEW and NXT Wrestling on the projector screen. We have the Versus Cities with ST and Super Turbo. Killer Queen's there. We're going to have our boys from the Nerd Side of the Ring podcast. That's Damian G., uh, Michael Beltran, Carlos the Grill Master will be there, um, maybe more, uh, KP, not going to make it there, Sarah, I heard is going to make it there, maybe, maybe, Sarah, are you making it there? But uh, they're going to be there, wrestling's going to be there, fighting games are going to be there, we're also going to hold some special one-off matches, and those will be title matches for our Super Turbo Champion our third strike champion, our tag team killer queen champion, that's two on two, our, and our women's champion. This will, this will all be based on who is there. Uh, if, if he's there, and I assume he will be, our standing and first defending super turbo champion will, of course, be Cami Ray Bumshaw. Ray Upshaw will be our first champion defending the title and he'll have one single title defense during a commercial break. And if he gets beat, well, then that person's the champion. If he doesn't get beat, then he comes back the next week and is the champion once again. So that's how that's going to work at Free Play Richardson today. I'll be there. The festivities kind of start at 7, but, you know, I will just slink on over there after 3 o'clock. Um, we also have... Stone Cold Steve Austin's Broken Skull IPA from El Segundo. That will be debuting at Free Play Richardson. I hear, I hear it's been available at weekends at Free Play Arlington all this time. So good on them. Good on Arthur for sourcing that. It's a good time to debut it. Carlitos is all going to be all decked out on his in his Stone Cold Steve Austin gear. It is going to be a good time for everybody. Um... We are streaming live at Twitch, twitch.tv slash freeplayarcade. Um, the link is up in the description if you're on Facebook. Uh, I believe we should be. Let me monitor the Twitch. Yes, we are. Well, I should know that. I'm responding to you in the chat, so of course you guys are on Twitch. Um, so come join us in the Twitch feed if you want to be a little more uh, a little more timely with my responses to... Uh, to the chat as it'll appear on screen right here, like Sarah did. Um, we are going to have VGM Wednesday Live. It is indeed Wednesday, and we have been doing this, oh, pretty much every week since, I would say, April, early April. Um, maybe maybe even late March. It got, it got started quite early in our run. It is VGM Wednesday Live. It is the best day of the week, Tiger Lily. Um, it is a it is a show dedicated to video game music. It is a post that has been dedicated to video game music for oh five years now. Every Wednesday, we highlight a different theme, ask you to contribute. This week's theme will be superheroes, superhero music in video games and arcade games. We have a custom YouTube playlist that you can add to. That is also in the description of the Facebook post. Um, we'll be posting it here in the chat throughout the day, I'm sure. All these playlists that we make every week stay up. So if you save it or you look where, I assume they would be on Ian's uh, YouTube page, but wherever they are, and again, we're going to post the link, you'll be able to access them if you want to go back and relive a different VGM Wednesday. Maybe one was really striking your fancy, then uh, that'll be there. Your con contribution uh, counts, and it will stick around. Also, Ian, live photoshops something around. It's usually, usually it ends up being me and everybody else. And in fact, if you want to be in the Photoshop, hop on into the Twitch chat and start talking to us. 
Uh, we tend to use volunteers from the crowd. Everybody gets tossed into a a game cover or some sort of gaming art via Photoshop while Ian does it live and we talk about the video game music. It's a lot of fun. We'll post it up. That'll be the post. And, uh, you know, maybe... Maybe Pika can be a part of it, too. What do you think, Pika? No? All right, Pika's not really a lap kitty, so Pika's going to exit now. So come join us now, twitch.tv slash freeplayarcade. Um, Ian's going to be here in just a moment, and when he hits the music, Fred Boat will join us live. Uh, Fred Boat, of course, providing the music from the playlist, and that's our cue to know that Ian is ready and uh, itching to go. Um, you guys let us know what you think of uh of superhero games and and Sarah you're you're the one most active in the chat right now do you have a favorite superhero game especially if it's a free play oh what what is that uh, oh man My, mike it's wednesday damn it sure is yeah golly i thought it was tuesday Hurt, hurts to miss that one it's okay it's okay we're not throwing you off the air just yet you can you can join us live atop Mount Beltran any day of the week. So how are you doing today? I'm doing swimmingly. Swimming? It's a good thing it's the uh, the summer with all the swimming you're doing. You know what? Mm -hmm. I've yet to go swimming this this summer, and it's disturbing me. I need to be in a pool. I mean, there's one. Okay, there's one right outside your back pa uh, pantry or porch. <laughs> yes, yes. Tiger Lily, Tiger Lily, seen it. The Maverick, the Maverick-shaped pool that's out Maverick in the backyard, right? Pool. You've got the the rooftop one on top of the palatial estates. You could swim on that one anytime you want. Now it does get a little sunny there on the rooftop. You know, fair warning to anybody who is uh who's visiting, anyone who's made it to like tier one through three with uh <laughs> with Lord Beltran. Um, and then and then you have the 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 natural lake. You know, the natural spring coming off the mountain. So there are plenty of options for you to get some swimming in, Michael Beltran. Just ask Uno or Biscuit. That's probably where they are right now. You know, they're, they're, I'm not going to. Well, years ago when I was a kid, there uh -huh. was going to be a pool built in my backyard. Uh, um, a, a, a wee Prince Beltran. And uh, once they kind of started digging just a little bit all of a sudden they found like uh don't know. gold texas tea treasure <laughs> yeah <dang it. laughs> some kind of limestone or cobblestone i don't know some kind of stone that they just yeah you know what we can't dig I'm like well yeah so much for that so that i just stuck stuck with the water holes and the trash bags for my slip and slide and down the front hill <laughs> <laughs> oh dear that was fun just roll into the uh um, what do you call it? The uh, the sidewalk and street. Yeah, those are some fun days right there. Matter of fact, if I can't Open get a to a pool, oh no, we we didn't have any fire hydrants on our on our street. But oh, no, 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 no fire safety on Mount Beltran. But tell you what, if I can't get to a pool here soon enough, I just might recreate the old uh, trash bags down the hill with water hose. Be careful. I just not, might do that. You be careful. You're you're not seven years old anymore. It is it is not 1969. Nice. You uh, <laughs> you, we don't we don't want you to 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 sprain anything, Lord Beltran. Oh no, no. I I the muscles will still work. You know, See, I do I, stretch. I think you, you know. just credit your your seven year old mutant healing ability, which is I promise you not there anymore. <laughs> Lord Beltran shapes. What does that even mean? <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh my god. Oh. That's so weird. That's so weird. Um well, as usual, like uh just before we usually get things going for VGN Wednesday, a couple of uh things from my end. Mm -hmm. Um I did add one song mm -hmm. to the list because mm -hmm. a what? lot of Oh, well, that, that deserves a breaking news sounder if ever, ever there's wait. a breaking news sounder. Let me hit that right. Here. The ones that... That is breaking news. Was, no, no, wait. No, this is it. Might be news. Fine.
And our top story on today's not Mike B news. Mike B <laughs> has figured out how to use YouTube exactly <laughs> one time. Congratulations, no, no, no. Mike. No, We're all happy. Fred Boat's happy. Ian's happy. Mm-hmm. Uh, life lessons. And uh, we're appreciative. The ones I wanted to add were already there. Mm-hmm. So I was like, well, let me just keep thinking here. And I came up with one. Mm-hmm. And if Ian can see it, he'll see the one that I added. It's one and... of the 250 songs, Ian. Go searching. Yeah. Yeah, as and, I said, uh, there's a lot of songs. People added a lot. Yeah. And I better hear it. <laughs> well, if you stick around, you just might. <laughs> Although, yeah. also, Ian might have to Photoshop for like 10 straight hours to cover all the music that we have for today's superhero theme. It's true. There oh. is a lot. M- mine, mine technically counts if once Ian sees it. Mine technically it mm-hmm. counts. It does what? count. <laughs> what the? Yeah. Oh, okay. It yeah. does count. It counts. Let, it let counts, Chris... but I didn't even know this was a game. Is this a game? It is a game, but that's not music from the game. Okay. But it's just... Someone it, let, explain let Chris, the concept. <laughs> let Chris know what it is. To Lord Beltran. <laughs> you know what, here, just just because... Oh, you're going to play it let's, now? Let's, let's, let's play it first. Oh, he's got to log off real quick so that he doesn't hear it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. This, 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 this causes a disturbance in the force. This, mostly because this is funny. Hold on. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there is a game... There is a game. It is a game. Right. It is a game, but the music technically is not from that game, but it's based off of said subject. I also yeah, want to see if this sense. works doing this. So yeah. yeah. There we go. Wait. That's not it, but <laughs> that's, that's not, what... not it. Yeah. Hello, that's HM not... Pilot. Um no. But but you the know. picture is up there. Look at that. Uh. And music bot commands. It it just didn't play the song that I wanted it to play. Oh. Um, um. I do have one bit of news while Ian hits buttons and things, Chris. This is for uh, uh this is for the grill master. Uh huh. Whom we will see Here tonight you. if you show up. Oh no, I'll be there. Um. Cheetos Mac and Cheese to be released in three flavors, including Flamin' Hot. So there is a Mac and Cheese. Might we have an update to the Witch of the Week? With, uh, with uh, Fritos Mac and Cheese. Probably yes. not. It's probably illegal, but yeah. one yeah. So, it, so we have Cheetos making their own Mac and Cheese. And one of the uh, flavors is, of course, flaming hot. Of course, you also have the regular cheesy, and then you have cheesy jalapeno, Cheetos mac and cheese. Boy, say that three times fast. So yeah, that is a thing. Cheetos Chris. have a jalapeno flavor. That I well, they do now in mac and cheese form. So get ready for uh, and you know what I need start being a stoner again to really enjoy these foods start huh is that how this works at what level do you become a stoner if i just, see just you, curious just curious see if i see my good friend stoner dave weekly then i'm mom I'm, I'm well on my way that just, means you're getting, <laughs> that just means you're getting booked a lot at twilight lounge <laughs> nice oh man but I do have some big news for everyone today, Chris. Yes. But a Ren and Stimpy reboot is in the works at Comedy Central. Is this is this the first time? Do you have details? Is it the original creator of Ren and Stimpy, who was also the voice of Ren? Well, um, there is a uh, little caveat to that. Let's Uh-oh. see here. Uh-oh. Yeah. I have to tell someone to stay hard. Well, no, no, no. Um, let's see here. Original creator John Kirk Falsey uh, will, will not be part of it because of. Um, will that will that be the vocabulary word of the day? It, it could be because Caveat. of uh, 
stuff stuff and things accused of you Uh-oh. know things uh oh yeah so yeah he's not gonna be a part of it but yes he's getting shipped Rent. to Ellen Isle <laughs> maybe a little bit worse but you know you can um you know you can uh uh let's Man. see here I did enjoy me some Ren and Stimpy back in the day yeah so he's had well I mean let's just say you know me too things yeah. for the you know, and them being, you know. Anyways, he's got some bad accusations. <laughs> hey, Mike. So getting, he he will not be part of it. We're getting mm-hmm. some unconfirmed reports that the Mavericks finally won a game. They did win, uh-huh. and their first and part, every ever irregular season victory. <laughs> yeah, they're one and two on the uh, restart, and and uh, I was with Varghese yesterday, and uh-huh. we did. Celebrate accordingly. So, <laughs> him pointing I, and I, laughing at you in your rocket sh- shirt. Cannot wait to get home and take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet. Have, have a, Which did happen. Yeah. Wake up to extra coffee. <laughs> Which I did have. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yes, Ren and Stimpy what, coming back, what's man. What's Paul's happy, drink happy. of choice so we know what to bury him with whenever he shows up next time? Uh, oh, you know what? I've got. Uh, we were talking yesterday, of course, because uh-huh. uh, I was with him. You you want to have? Uh, he's good with the fireball. He's good with the Jaeger. Oof. Okay. Yeah. Well, then we'll see um, him this Saturday for the Jaeger event. Yeah. So I mean that that that's pretty much it. And then also there is a uh, a shot called Green Tea Shot, mm. which is what we celebrated with yesterday, and that's actually really good for those who drink. <laughs> those those three things. That's kind of all you need, really. You know, right. or you know, or you know, every now and then Jameson. But those three, those are the. Uh, All right, well, I, that's I, that's the way to go. I need I need some consultation from my friends who are not afraid to drink because I know this is Ray's drink of choice, and it's not PBR. He is always doing not shots. PBR. It's not PBR. He's always doing shots of Fireball. What the heck is Fireball? It's uh, it well, if you it's recall one, that you can do at least candied liquor shots of because that's how Kami Ray Bumshaw, our first Super Turbo Champion of these Wrestling Wednesdays, by the way, that's what he that's what he goes with. Yeah, so mm. if you remember one Cowboys playoff game <laughs> at Free Play Arlington, uh, he uh, that that was heavily consumed that day between myself and Ray. But uh, yeah, Fireball is basically like it's kind of cinnamon cinnamon mini, you know? Gotcha, gotcha. So oh. like the, 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 all oh, those atomic fireballs. Gotcha. The candy. Yeah, yeah. Ian's saying candy. <coughs> Liquor, uh, whiskey flavored cinnamon schnapps. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. It's, all, it's all becoming clear now, except for what whiskey might be flavored like since I've never had whiskey. Yeah, but uh, green tea shots though, man, that, that's, that's kind of the way to go, at least for us. You know, so they they really aren't bad. Turn you know. Fred Boat here. You uh, what do you guys think about this track? I, I added it. Looks like someone got lost on the wrong side on of the track. Silver Shroud Radio Show. Yes. <laughs> like an old timey radio show. Yes, this is this is from the old timey radio show of Fallout Four. It is the Silver Shroud, who is uh, the superhero oh. of the Fallout Four so universe. And it's all old time nice. radio. It's only oh, it's only, Darkwing Duck. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, Golf yeah. clap, nice. You're welcome. I most certainly will not. Do you have any idea who? Oh um, yeah, it's 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 only about three minutes long. There are like ten episodes to the show. I just added the first one, but I don't know. I, I felt inspired. He's definitely a superhero, and uh, the Silver Shroud. Everybody. That makes sense. This is from. Fallout well, three? No, Fallout four. Nothing. A four, okay. Mm-hmm. No cash, it's worthless. I just ah, ran away from bandits most of the time in that game. Suit like this has gotta mm. have something. Also got a couple of music right. birthdays for you. Oh. Uh, that's yeah. good, man. One of them is kind of related to music, oh, uh-huh. even though it was based off of a radio station. But uh, Lonnie Anderson turned seventy-five today. 
um, WKRP in Cincinnati. Which, oh. as a kid, I really did enjoy that show, even though I didn't really know what was happening. <laughs> uh, same. Same, actually. It, you know what? It, that, that means it has a cartoonish feel, an over-the-top feel. If a kid can enjoy it without understanding the concept, and, it, and that, that show did. What was it? What was the name of the, the wacky morning DJ? Johnny something? Um, anyway. Yeah, that, no, uh, yeah uh, that is, I'm telling you right now, But yeah, Doctor Johnny Fever. Yeah, yeah Johnny man. Fever, yeah, it was, uh, he was. It was good. Yeah, he was one of the reasons why I wanted to be in some kind of music environment <laughs> growing up. Because I thought that dude was the coolest dude ever, man. It reminds me of one Mike Reiner, young Mike Reiner. But anyways, <clears throat> also, um. Let's see here. Let me scroll down a little bit more here. A couple more for you. Happy birthday to Rick Derringer, 73 today, brother. And the reason why I say that is he is the singer of Real American Hulk Hogan's thing. Oh, my God. Brother, brother. Oh, brother, brother, brother. I thought that was just like a computer-generated song <laughs> no 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 there he is he is a legendary guitarist one of his fam famous songs is actually rock and roll hoochie coo really yes that's so his song one of his, his less favorite famous songs but American brother American brother <laughs> yes also uh <laughs> you like this name. one chris Listen. um yeah i don't eddie, know that's, i don't know if that's his birth name yet Derringer, eddie Ojeda. Yeah, Rick Derringer. Yeah, rock and roll, hoochie coo, real American, brother, brother. Also, Eddie Ojeda of Twisted Sister, okay. 65. All right, that's, that's nice, sir. Nice, sir. Yeah. Any other yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I got one more here. Um, uh, rest in peace. Today would have been Adam Yout's birthday. He of uh, MCA of the Beastie Boys. Rest in peace. R.I.P. Stay hard. Yeah. Cancer, right? Uh, battle uh, for a it, while with it. Yeah, some kind of. Uh... Uh, yeah, cancer. That's a while ago. Yep, sure has. Yep. Um, anybody else? Anybody Nate might be interested in? Uh, unfortunately, not today. <laughs> not uh, today. Not right, cool. Well. Yeah. Um. I guess I have a birthday, Mike, but not many. Oh, oh, okay. So today it's the birthday of uh, Isabel. If you were at Free Play Arlington like two weeks ago, you saw Isabel and her, uh, I want to say brother, Kodiak, the NBC2 player. Maybe it's cousin, something like that. Anyway, there was quite a lot of action happening on that table back there. Uh, Brittany, the Killer Queen player of... I'm sorry, Brandy, the Killer Queen player of some note from Richardson, was involved. And uh, that was a very popular table. And uh, Isabel, chief among them. And it is her birthday today, so happy birthday, Isabel. Oh, wait. Oh, I did have one more, Chris. Uh, yes. Uh, somebody you know might think uh, his line of work is rather of, um, oh, I don't know, uh, super... Anyways, Neil Armstrong, happy birthday to Neil Armstrong. So, wow, happy there birthday. is that. Yeah, <laughs> it's a joke for two people, but that today is his birthday. I don't know, man. Have you seen my new poster up on my wall? Did, did you see it on my? No, I haven't. Yeah, it's, it is space related. I have a uh, Dr. Angela Beard, aka Gory Midori. She she donated me her. Um, painting of Data holding his cat spot, and I am stoked about it. <laughs> well, nice. That's awesome. Yeah, she's like, I always knew, I knew the artist, so I kept it all this time, but I never really use it. It's not my style. I don't really watch the show, and I'm like, this is made for me. You don't understand. It's made for me. I want it. So, 
had a, had a nice delivery as people are helping me out, getting adjusted to my new place and giving me um, different uh, appliances and tables and whatnot to, to populate the house. She came over, had some kitchen gear, and uh, yeah, here's uh, Data and Spot. That's perfect. That is perfect. Oh yeah, look, there it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ever watch, there's there's like these uh, YouTube videos called TNG Edits. Um, and they always made Data to be like, kind of psychotic. Because uh -huh. he'd be a robot painting and stuff. It, it was always hilarious. Yes. And it kind of had like a story going throughout the whole thing. Um, I don't think it's even around anymore, but... I just remember laughing my ass off to all of those. I, ha I have seen those. I've seen, like, the montage of the Riker Sith. Um, yes. Yeah, I've, I've also... Um, there's, a, there's a really funny um, Twitter feed. It actually had a book based on it, I want to say. It's, um, it's something like TNG Season 7. Here, I'll, I'll find it real quick. We're definitely following it. Um, but, yeah, it's all... Or Season 8, something like that. It's, it's, it's all... Um, tossed aside storylines from the unmade uh, season after the last season of TNG when it gets even when they run out of ideas even more yeah as it's, it looks like the TNG ads they're not they don't uh, I guess belong to the same guy anymore yeah they're all like mirrors of like the old ones I guess this channel got taken down or something. This song. Oh, it's the stages of Batman that I never got to. That's why it doesn't sound familiar at all. Ah, yes. I did. I did. Oh, wait, is this Return of the Joker Batman? Okay, yeah. I, I didn't add I think this so. one. I did add some Batman music, though. I played a different Batman in the NES game. Yeah. I don't think I've ever played this uh, version. Return of the Joker? Oh, okay. I thought it was just like a stage that I haven't seen or played. Oop. Yeah, are you? It's a creepy, creepy Joker. Mike, are you still with me? I'm still here. Okay, so so this is an example of a, of a tweet from TGN Season 8, which I, I have uh, I posted the link from. Uh, Riker cautiously dates a sexy, sentient bomb. Picard drinks water wrong, awkwardly coughs for ten minutes in front of an angry Romulan. <laughs> so that that's it. It's just it's just endless ideas of a season eight that didn't happen, and they're all s crazy and psychotic. Here's one: Troy's secret agent past catches up with her. It's clear to the rest of the crew that Jordy and Data are hiding a panda in their quarters. A panda. A panda. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm in. I'm in. One of the one of the top ten episodes of season eight, maybe. Okay, yeah. Well, if only it were made. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, I'm in. You got me on this. <laughs> uh, they they have like I was just tons of tweets over the years. <laughs> well, speaking of the twitters, man, probably one of the best ones you've ever introduced me to is uh the Rick Rude <laughs> <Rick> atomic <laughs> kitty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Getting atomic draft. Oh my god! Like, <laughs> makes me happy. Every time I see one, it makes me happy. Like, I'm happy to see this. <laughs> just, I think he showed that to me. It was just, yeah, all like what you said. It's just somebody getting atomic draft. Yeah, just somebody <laughs> ravishing recruit. Oh yeah, over just again. him. Just yeah. him selling, getting reverse atomic drop, which is like <laughs> his his own personal anti finishing move. You fight yeah. against Rick Rude, you got to hit him with the, the atomic drop. Watch him bounce Person, around. Personal, personal hill, or the inverted ones are even worse. <laughs> inverted atomic drops. Oh man, that's the worst. Yeah, at Rick Root cells. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> There's like it's just like a, this Instagram that I follow. That's all just like quotes from um, the critic. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, this! Oh, what game? I forget what game this is, but there's like this like wrestling game that <laughs> ha 
has like oh. everybody. Yeah. But it's not like, you know, official. People make their own characters and everyone's just made. That's a. Uh, All the characters. I, I, I believe that's a uh, Fire Pro Wrestling or something like that. Where you can create yeah. your own wrestler and. You know, create whoever you want. Oh, no sell there. <laughs> he didn't even sell the Atomic Trout. No, uh uh. There, there's Rick Rude. <laughs> that's, that's the Rick Rude we know. Oh, yeah. Right here. Mm, inverted, too. Oh, it's over. Oh. I mean, this is ravishing Rick Rude. I mean, he was the ladies' man, and you're attacking, you know, his most powerful Same asset. Parts. <laughs> oh, I feel your pain on that. Oh my god, that's uh. It's just all people <laughs> getting need in the dick. Right? Yep, that's it. Mm. That's it. Just oh, like, no. up here. Like a top Thank you for the sub, Tiger Lily. Oh, was high as hell. What? What is happening? <laughs> oh yeah, that yeah. Uh oh, uh oh. That's, um... <laughs> Man, all right. This is yeah. like that one party you had at your uh, your house, Mike. <laughs> yeah, that uh. Yeah, remember? Did it really happen? Yeah, you had Cheeto there, yeah. and yeah. it was uh, <laughs> I don't know, Ray about seven fireballs in. We yeah, should, so we really shouldn't talk about it more, but you know. So so that video had a. Uh... <laughs> Cheryl, Cheryl Roberts, Jake Roberts' wife. That's Jake, Jake Roberts' wife on those tights. Someone married that fool? So, yeah. So that's, you know, total disrespect, right? No, oh, and then he came out and did something about it. Now, you know, this is the 80s, brain, right? Yeah. So he wasn't actually fully nude there. He did have, like, you know, the under underwear tights on underneath there. Are you, are you saying cool. it would be different today? All right, you, time you might have hypothetical <laughs> times. Uh, hypothetical time with Mike B. Uh, have you ever seen another dude's junk in the squared circle? <laughs> I've, <laughs> I haven't. But uh, Joey Ryan, I have seen. I have seen Joey Ryan's. Um, uh, R Rick Rudeness. Well, yeah, his <laughs> his finishing move. His, his ample rudeness. His finishing move is uh, well, it's very powerful. I've never seen such <laughs> such power done in a in a wrestling move before. But uh, yeah, um, Wait, I don't see the weird penis guy. I know there's like a, a yeah, whole that's him. Dude's thing. Okay, that, all right, that's him. Yeah, I, I don't think you should put that's that one on here. <laughs> it's ridiculous but hilarious at the same time. Yeah. Although I don't think uh, he'll be doing that anytime soon again. There, there's been some. Uh, um, oh. Did he propose to his wife that way? Uh, well, how romantic! Him and, him and his wife did have a wrestling match, and he did propose yes. at the end of it. Um, yeah. But yeah, he, he after the wife be... did the move, or wait, the wife didn't do the move. Well, he did the move on the wife, right? I, I, just I remember mean, the, seeing that it was hilarious. Well, no, no, no like, like she. Like they had an actual wrestling match, you know, but uh, I think I can't remember who won or lost that one. But uh, but yeah, Joey Ryan, you may not see wrestle anytime soon or ever again because of um, things. But we'll see. You never know. <laughs> you never know what will happen. Well, Mike here, I'll follow now. It's all the same move. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah. literally all the same. Yeah. Move, yes. Here's now here 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 is something Ruth, that Barbara? yeah here is something that is true about the five year old mind of Mike B when he would see the atomic drop and this is a true story and I've told this before to some of my other friends but whenever I would see the atomic drop being performed I used to think that move hurt the feet because <laughs> they because they land so heavily on their feet and not yes. at all on anything else. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And then as I got older, I was like, "Oh, that's what it actually hurts." <laughs> yeah, I was, I was confused by quite a few of those moves, especially like in the '80s when there were there were so many long-winded, low-impact moves. Yeah. 
not the Iron Claw, mind you. The Iron Claw was very clear. Very clear. Yeah. Yeah, how yeah. that could debilitate somebody instantaneously. But, yeah. <laughs> but other moves. Yeah. Well, there's a superhero for us. Oh, God. That's right. Oh, I, just, I gotta do this. That's right. Yeah, and see, in this picture, what people don't know is he's actually wearing a, a G-string. We, we need more of that. Well, at least. According to... <laughs> Like a few nice. minutes ago, so. Very nice. Yes. Oh. He is in the VTM Wednesday <laughs> Quote. spirit. Oh, yeah. Quoted. All right. Save as. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I love life right now. <laughs> oh. God. What's oh. oh. Calm down, Mike. PG-13. It's not 930 yet. Doesn't What's matter. Going? What's going on? Whoa. Hey, whoa. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Whoa. Joining us now. Possible? Possible special <laughs> guest tonight at Free Play Richardson, Jesse James. You coming out watching wrestle with us? I will because I want to go out and support you, dudes. Hey, there hey. you go. Hey. Whoa! All right. right. She brings all the boys to the yard. But I am gonna, I am gonna, probably gonna challenge Mike B if he decides to uh, kind of butt heads with me. He's gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, hey, I want to watch AEW. He's like, yeah, no, no, we gotta watch Smash real quick. Smash. I'm like, but Mike. Smash, <laughs> yeah, Smash. The game? You're gonna watch Smash? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna you're gonna change the My, change Mike it to Smash is Brothers. Famous for being a Smash Brothers commentator and oh. a champion and a champion. That's oh, all. Oh no, what? champion for sure not. But uh, if you go digging around the interwebs, you will see me commentating on some Smash. Of course, legendary, <laughs> legendary Smash Brothers commentary. I wouldn't no say one knows Smash Brothers quite <laughs> like Michael Beltran. Didn't you present like the big, that giant, you know, oversized paycheck at the uh, what's that thing called? The <laughs> esports arena oversized for Smash paycheck. Brothers? No, I didn't. You showed up there, to man. do that and then you just fucking dip. <laughs> I did not do that. No, I think what so Carlos had messaged me um, this morning, <laughs> you know, Four a.m. gotcha, but, yeah, listening. yeah, but he, he did say <laughs> that, uh. Um, I think he's bringing something like his fire stick or something. I don't know. But um, after <laughs> oh, yeah. after AEW Whoa. is over, we'll go back and watch uh, NXT. Right. Yeah, we have. So. It, it ends at 9 p.m., right? 7 to 9 p.m. is when the, the live broadcast is. Yes. But we have two yeah. more hours, exactly enough to watch the, the next wrestling program. Yes. That's when you know Jeffy leaves. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look, dude, I'm going to be cool, okay? Check this out. I'm going to watch my first full NXT episode or show with my uh -huh. That's what I was waiting oh my for. God. Wait, Mike B is wanna... wrestling tonight? All right. No, no, no. No, no. Okay, no. It's, whole, it's recorded. He, he already did the match. Yeah, yeah whole two <laughs> hours of Mike B matches. NXT Man, is I, stepping up their game. Man, Man, just make I'm sure right. you, have, you have Mike B's match from Starcade. Uh, 96. Arcade 96. He, he beat Barry Horowitz <laughs> in the opening match. <laughs> I can't keep a straight face anymore. <laughs> Man, even if that was my one and even if that was my one and only pro match, I would take that. I would That's take awesome that one. one. I would that is take an awesome that legacy. One. Yes, I would take that right there. I beat a classic jobber <laughs> at a big yes. pay per view. <laughs> right. I'm well. I'm, I'm moving up the ladder. <laughs> I'm Invictus. Oh. oh my God! Starcade '96, not even '97. No. '96. <laughs> I, I, I just saw this Mike post. Passes prime. I, wow. <laughs> yeah, by that time his back was fucked. <laughs> 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 Four too, surgeries later too, in one year. Too many reverse atomic drops. Oh my God! <laughs> Might be regret making it the leg drop as finisher. <laughs> oh my God. Oh man, yeah, that's that's why Hogan's had like. What eight surgeries on his back, yeah. brother? He yeah. literally said, "Like I, I regret." Like because uh, he was talking about the Rock. He's like, "Yeah, the Rock is smart. He just did a Uranage." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just slam you in your back. The guy doesn't take any damage. I don't take any damage, and it looks cool as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I just saw this picture of Boat Guy. What the hell? Dude? Just now? That's his like work picture. Yeah. That's his uh, his uh, LinkedIn. Yeah, he, he, he can't be here because he's LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh man! So VGM Wednesday Live started with Boat Guy uh, for several weeks, and uh, he can't be here because he's at work, and uh, we just 
have a little insight into what that work is. He, he really screwed himself by typing that. No, he didn't. <laughs> he enhanced. I mean, dude, because like the picture <laughs> alone, we can just like laugh about it, right? But then the picture plus the verification with the little Twitch Prime shit and the <laughs> little thing, or uh, ASP, and then him just saying that. Yeah. Oh my god, this he is screwed up, brother. And here we go. He's putting it actually. He's gonna. He's about to Photoshop. <laughs> he's about to put it into his his uh, LinkedIn. Oh Look up Mike B's LinkedIn. It's gonna. It's it's sick, dude. <laughs> Have you, have you looked it up before? Uh, I, no. I only have AT&T Fiber. I can't get that many highlights downloaded oh my with God. a timely fashion. Yeah, you click on it and then it just like your your Google Fiber internet slows down because there's too much content being, <laughs> up, yeah. being loaded. Content. Yeah, sir, oh ISP God. servers start going down across the world. Jeez. Yeah, between, <laughs> the, between the years of 1995 and 1998, he just says Booker Man at World Class Champ. World Champion. <laughs> <laughs> he just says Booker Man. Uh, holy crap! Oh my god! And then god. the descriptions. He uh, says, "I have the book." Don't burn out because we need you in the wrestling show tomorrow at one, <laughs> Jesse. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. never burn out, brother. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. No, he, he's he's long winded. I should know. <laughs> <laughs> in, the, in the description, it was it just says I had the book, brother. I had the book, brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's the description. What did you do in the, during this job, Mike? <laughs> I had the book. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Oh my god. You know, that's so awesome. That, that, that's like a joke for like three people, really. That I mean, right there. <laughs> I was going to say, like, how many yeah. people watching are like. Yeah, what the, why are they laughing like, so what hard? What the hell's Dam happening? If anything, Damien's laughing. Yeah, Damien's yeah, laughing. Yeah. I need, I, need, I need more help from the audience during Mike B News, too. I, I'm, I'm going back, so I'm, I'm. I normally highlight during this time if I can. <laughs> and right now, I'm going back through all the Mike B news that haven't been deleted because I don't really typically save every single day of Mike B news. It seems to get Why a bit long. Um, long, long. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of filler. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't, I don't have enough hard drive space to, for all of Mike B's ram rambling. I mean, I, I can, but you know, we occasionally have a hiccup like yesterday where I forget to turn off the broadcast and the empty chair show begins. Oh, anyway, so good. I, I love people that. to clip the uh, Gory Midori vocabulary word of the day yeah That's yeah a, i'm gonna need a i'm gonna need a full 2020 compilation okay. of we definitely lost some already <laughs> oh that's too bad so need the audience more to that help us from. out be on the ball and help us clip the gory midori vocabulary word of the day but i'm gonna get some <laughs> of them right now but this really vgm wednesday is just me watching <laughs> ian yeah. like photoshopping <laughs> I mean, that that's exactly what this is. What, <laughs> that's exactly. Yeah, it's exactly, exactly what this is. This is like the heart. And we don't have um, to start off with the main course right away. We can do the bonus track first. This isn't the main course. It's like, well, you, did you see? No, the, this uh, is not the main course. Did you see Tiger Lily's request oh, for the no, for the? Well, I'll say it again. What was their request? Tiger Lily requested. Let's see, Here, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look it up because it was yesterday. Just a moment. I don't know Pokemon, is, okay? I'm sorry. If Mike Beeper mispronounces Pokemon, he's doing it on. He's, he's he's trying to troll to show that he like isn't really that into it. <laughs> because then, if if you know he's into it, then you're gonna ask him questions, and then he's gonna like really get into it. It's kind of like wrestling, right? He already screwed yeah. up by telling people he likes wrestling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel right. sorry for Marin Roberts Huntley being <laughs> her profile yeah. being ransacked like this. Oh, or I mean, it's already on. On a it's public. Google search. Yeah, it's public. Yeah, it, yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's, public. I mean, it's free game. It, Fuck it. Yeah, I mean, we, we just need a template. That's all. What the hell yeah. is happening? Just need a okay. template of how one looks. Something perfect. We're good. So, yeah. so this was uh, this was part of Corey's post yesterday about a... Uh, it, was, it was a letter <clears throat> of opposition to Free Play Arcade in 2015, back in the, the pre-COVID era. And uh, Ricky, Ricky Box said, Not all heroes wear capes. I, of course, responded with a picture from that two month period where you, Michael Beltran, took over for an injured Clark Kent as Superman. Mm. 
And uh, Lauren says, that Superman pick obviously has to be outside Joshua's window next stream. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Easy. What's the lore behind Easy Mike piece. B being, like, right outside your house? Out of people's homes? Well, it's mainly just Josh. Food. It's just Josh. Uh, Every I mean, day. I've, heard, I've heard people, like, so, yeah, Although, like, if people want Mike B to be outside of their homes, please take a picture of your windows yeah, next to you. And maybe then, we can uh, make that some sort of Patreon level. make that a thing. Patreon <laughs> level. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> 15 bucks. And we, we, we take a, just send us a picture of your house and we'll put Mike B outside. <laughs> <laughs> Choose right. which version of Mike B do you want. You want 1996 Mike B? Yeah. You want like Demonic 2015 Mike B. Mike B? Heal Mike B? Yes. Yeah. yes. For, do you want? for 30, for 30, he'll... Uh, He'll actually go out there and we'll have a photo shoot. And, <laughs> yeah. And, and you, you don't get to meet him. There you go. You don't get to meet him. Stalk you. I'm still trying to get uh, on the side of um, Withers' new house that he just recently got to uh, <laughs> oh, project. Yeah, uh, like, uh, yeah. That is a good him. point. That is a good point. Here, I'll uh, I'll find the link. We all yeah. need to congratulate one boat guy who uh, yeah. working mm -hmm. hard these days, as you've seen. You're still uh -huh. Yeah, as you've seen from from Ian, but uh, all that hard work <laughs> is, uh, is not for naught. He has himself a new house. Yeah, no, I'm I'm happy for him, and I'm hoping still one day I get to uh, project ST on the side of his house because that wall I mean, is you big project enough. on us every single day. That yeah, we log ooh. In. yeah, ooh, <laughs> ooh, I'm getting. <laughs> excited psychological <laughs> burn yeah. boat guy working a few extra jobs as i can tell <laughs> right, let me the find man's out. A... i'm gonna make this official i'm gonna find out LinkedIn's a... the, the, the man's a trooper man he's uh he works multiple jobs as you can clearly see he's an entertainer <laughs> it's a man of mystery. I, I thought i worked a lot doing different jobs man, oh, man. this is impressive is, boat guy he, well i was gonna say he keeps it on the down low but it doesn't really seem that, like that yeah, no, that's dude. Who is great. that guy, dude? What the fuck? I mean, that's great, man. <laughs> it's just like it. <laughs> no, he keeps it on the down low. It just depends on how much money he gives. So, so, so good. The dude, more looks... money, the lower down, you know. Yeah. yeah. Is that his motto? The more money, the lower I go. There <laughs> <laughs> is your uh, link to congratulate. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, here's your link Jeremy. so you can link this shit Jeremy. that now Ian's doing. <laughs> <laughs> on his new house. God. If you guys want to spam his personal page with this naked guy. <laughs> oh my god. No, what do you mean that. spam it? No, it's his profile picture. Oh yeah, it's him, right? So it's like... Yeah. It literally let's not ruin his, his actual cool, good, wholesome life with our degenerate degeneracy. <laughs> let's see. But I, I am uh, serious, though. I will project ST on the side of his house one day. Like, that is going to happen. Like, without we don't have to that... play it. I mean, <laughs> well, it depends. We don't have to play it. SD. It just needs to be playing a video. It needs to be playing. That's the, yeah, we don't have to play it. Just, uh, it just, just needs uh, to be on the side of it. Quarter second just loop claw. Of, uh, five low tiger shots. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and me, me blocking it. Yeah. <laughs> Not even blocking yeah. it, just getting hit. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you know, home home court advantage, you know. <clears throat> oh man, um, I don't know if it's been done before. If it has, I'm pretty sure no one remembers. Um, I vote for there to be a, a like on the spot pop quiz, the first ever Mike B. Mike B's on the hot hot seat, of course. The first ever Pac Man pop quiz. I think I think this would be the second one because we did quiz him on the top off-brand pac-man games of all time yeah. <laughs> i want to quiz him on like official pac-man lore Ooh. now Ooh. actual pac-man not Make forte. It. that's you might want to get jagger kids sc champion jagger for your get actual uh, pac-man news making my pants feel funny <laughs> that, that was weird after i mentioned uh 17 year old boy but okay Jeez. <laughs> oh my god we can uh nobody uh, clip that no nope. nobody clip that yeah, when I worked in when off I, of Mike B's everything <laughs> portfolio yeah back when I worked in radio there was a big red button called the dump button 
Yeah. Oh boy, we <laughs> you, need that here. And you, you press that shit when you want to erase the last four seconds of audio and make we sure it never goes down. Here, badly. <laughs> Bo badly. Gabbard, the manga. You're gonna need more than four <laughs> seconds with Mike around. <laughs> But yeah, the well, the dump bud needs. I think it needs like XM. I think like, depending on what like broadcast you're at, anywhere from like 18 to 20 seconds for it to buffer before you can use it again. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta charge so, that thing up. It's got a cooldown on it. Especially as much as Mike B is mashing the dump button. <laughs> well, in this case, Mike B wouldn't mash it. It would be like someone with like someone with responsibility, like Chris. <laughs> Because if Mike B screws up here, Mike. <laughs> I mean, I gotta, I gotta post this stuff on Jeremy's wall. So, but, but, Ian, you, you can have the dump button. You're not doing anything. All right. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> no. You're not working your ass off right now. Of course, yeah. Ryu yeah, main I, entertainer. <laughs> entertainer. I need, I need right. some text, guys. Put, put some... anything you need me to be. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is. Put the the one whom you seek. <laughs> but I do put I do bars and bar mitzvahs. <laughs> oh, oh my god! We might be working on my new uh, my new best my new favorite VGM Wednesday ever. <laughs> Whatever you want for the right. <laughs> oh man. Oh my I like how this is the first thing, by the way. This is superheroes, by the way. <laughs> well, but, I mean, yeah. Bokai, we've known Bokai as a superhero for a long time. <laughs> oh, the man's yeah. a hero. That's true. Yeah, he is a hero. He's a, He's a hero. hero to me. Yeah. Yeah, he has he... That, that, that blue polo shirt <laughs> and the blue jeans. That's his. That's right his, now, he doesn't like, have it. Yeah, that's his secret identity, casual gig Bokai. And then he actually dresses, when he gets dressed up in a superhero outfit, he's cute. If you've seen the CPS1 stage, the boat stage. Oh, do yeah. um okay, do Carol Carrollton DFW area and put international waters. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. That's <pretty> okay. <laughs> he, he's a boat, you know. He's probably out there in a boat or an island. I don't know how he rolls. Now that he's got a new house. He's definitely my hero. I mean, there you go. Been... international <laughs> waters. <laughs> uh, here, I need to find... Oh, wait, hold on. I got it. I got it. We're good. And whatever text you put on the description, like, I don't care if you put like a big paragraph at the end. The very last words needs to be, "I, I go with the flow." <laughs> Just kind of like adding things like that. Yeah. Oh, is that okay. going to be the 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 banner? <laughs> I was yeah. just getting ready to ask what's going to be the banner, and of course you have to. Yeah, we're going to do the jank. Cute. We're going to do the jank boat. That's jank more cute. Boat. I like oh, the I like the cruise boat. That one looks a little more up up his alley. CPS oh, maybe one is that's a cheap. superhero outfit. Maybe we need a uh... CPS two. That's the one where he, he has the uh, the casual, the secret identity reveal of boat guy. Maybe it's the that, uh... that, that one just looks like party, like a party's going down, man. That that that's Jeremy's boat. <laughs> I just like the look of that one. You know, like the, nothing good's gonna happen on that boat. The HD remix boat stage. That's, oh no! Uh, you know, oh hell no! Mid middle aged <laughs> boat guy right there. That one. <laughs> HD book. <laughs> yeah, HD middle age. Yeah, look up look up HD remix. Dude. Oh yeah. HD yeah, remix. That one's, that one's that one's not uh yeah. That's not, H not authorized. HD <laughs> remix is an assault on my eyes, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 fan fiction right there. That's like even the, when uh, they... that's like the Star Wars expanded universe that just gets erased <laughs> whenever Disney. Even when it, it when it came no, out, no. I looked at it and I'm like, dude, what the hell? how does it look worse? There is this go. Batman? Not very HD of you. I'm pretty sure that was Batman. Yeah, that was Batman. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Broadcast message. We are going to bring Fred Boat down for maintenance now. What is this? Fred Damn. Boat, no. Even what? he couldn't take Mike B's Mike B's uh constant incessant. Still not gonna hear my song. <laughs> Jeez. Damn. Are we really just doing a guy LinkedIn profile? I mean, dude, we're we're trying to help our brother out. He needs more gigs, man. Yeah, that's right. He's, I mean, he's, but he's, he's got he's a new booked. house to pay for. Yeah, it's true. Dude, he's just for the right money. He's down. I mean, I guess I can pull up the YouTube playlist and play it. I don't know how to shuffle from there. 
it, really um, good, does LinkedIn yeah. have like uh, a feature like the old MySpace where the second you click on it, music starts playing? <laughs> on LinkedIn and the the shimmering glitter profiles everybody put up. Man, because I, I have the perfect song. Insulting. I have the perfect song for Boat Guy. Oh. No. What is? Oh, Which do? is? I guess we can just have Chris play in the background. If that's cool. <laughs> do yeah. you want to? It's one of my favorite wrestling themes. Oh, <laughs> curious. The, the guilty pleasure of mine. Uh oh. I think it's underrated theme, underrated team. What is it? It is uh, <laughs> Mr. Billy and Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, when I was a kid, and I I, I knew the storyline, but when I heard the song, I'm like, okay, I know what they're going for, but the song is not bad. <laughs> <laughs> the lyrics are abhorrent. Yes, but the song itself is I I've never been able to get it out of my mind, oh, and it good. would go it would go perfect. You know what I'm talking about, right, Mike? Yeah. Right. Oh, I'm playing oh, it yeah. on my end, Ian, but mm-hmm. that that means you. That's and uh, it, that um, would go perfect with Boat Guy's new gimmick here. Unless you want to play it over yours. Like, you Don't know. you think, Mike? My... <laughs> yeah, actually. Would. Oh, but you would hear double because I have a um, Discord open right now. Could my, maybe my use. Uh, I don't know. What about. Well. Based off the picture, Val Venus theme. Yeah, Val Venus. Yeah, yeah, but that. I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 trying to, Hello, try, I'm trying to do some deep cuts here. Yeah, yeah, deep cuts. I like it. That seems that seems like more down boat guys alley. You know, you could also do uh, the model Rick Martel's theme because he did have the uh, the bow tie. <laughs> Hello, la- ladies. Yeah, yeah, no, spell it like <laughs> lady, ladies. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I like ladies. Like, yeah. laid, laid. Yeah, yeah, dude. Because you know yeah. that it's you know the implication. Ooh, Beverly Someone Brothers, that's a, a deep song cut right there. With the lyrics that uh, would make sense in here. <laughs> that should just be the description. Yeah. That's it. That's all you need. <laughs> that's yeah, it. don't put anything. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Is there a ladies' man song? I'm trying to think of a song that would make sense. Uh, song lyrics to, to add the in here. Heartbreak kid theme had a. <laughs> <laughs> people Michael's come into people. Theme song lyrics, sexy <laughs> Beverly Brothers. <laughs> Beverly Brothers. Can we use the Dicks theme song? <laughs> How about that? All right. Mike, do you remember when yeah. Kurt Hawkins there's, there's and the Shawn um, Michaels theme <clears throat> lyrics? Was it Lance Archer that. and Kurt and Kurt Hawkins when they did some Magic Mike gimmick for literally a week yes. on SmackDown? Yes, I what do. What the hell was that, dude? That was that was awesome. <laughs> was it awesome? Yeah, that, that it, it would go well today. <laughs> but it was Maybe literally I'd... for a week, right? And then Archer yeah. was like released. Yeah, I know. That, what the that, hell? Like... that must have been a rib, dude. Had to be a rib. Had to be. It's like go out there and do it. It's an it, trust me, we got a plan. And yeah, then they man. did it. They do it. Uh-huh. Vince laughs, people laugh, Pritchard laughs, and then they're like, Alright dude, you're out of here. Yeah, I'll we'll see you later. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but an impact. By the way, if you think uh, if you think this is all that Jesse's got, uh, that is, this is not the case. This is basically what the entirety of tonight is going to be watching wrestling. Is it? <laughs> I, yes. I've been in a room with you before. Have you? I've been in uh, Mike B's. Uh, what's that place <laughs> called? Twilight Lounge. Mike yes. B's place. Yeah. His club. Not my club. No, the mansion. Though. Uh, oh no, your club's like in L.A. This is not a. Like, yeah. Like, once, once you took over ownership of the Viper Club, Viper Room. Is that what it is, it Mike? <laughs> I, I do miss me some Twilight Lounge. I cannot wait till those doors open again. I miss my spot. Ah, I miss it. Dark I miss it dearly. Sorry. I always, I always I thought it was funny that me and Chris were in the back playing and people would walk up and see like what the fuck are these idiots doing right. back here <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> and they're man. just working they're like they're playing some stupid game whatever yeah yes. yeah oh yeah that was great anyway, Dalson versus Claw 
And then, uh, yeah. oh, I used to play this back on the Super Nintendo. Oh, sure. Yeah. Play my friend here. Bye, bye, oh, bye, yeah. Bye, bye, KO. W wasn't there a guy who was like, I bet I can beat y'all? He was like slightly intoxicated. Uh, that, was Mike. Played, that was Mike. That was Mike. was later in the night. But... Well, no, 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 no. I was DJing. <laughs> Mike B came up. <laughs> I bet I could beat I was all of y'all. <laughs> I was DJing. I was busy working, sirs. <laughs> I mean, Big Andy holding the fort, serving customers at Twilight Lounge. Oh, it was great. Can't wait till it opens cool, again. Remember when Mike B. Did you have your machine back there? It was a or super gun. Uh, on? Sort of. One of my one of my piece, uh, <laughs> many super guns, his proprietary super guns. Oh. Proprietary. <laughs> it's all stupid. When when Mike B brought out his uh, was it the NES NES classic? <clears throat> yeah. Yes. Dude, yes. dude, I sat there and a, a a couple that like I was just sitting there playing the game, and a couple sat down and watched me play the entirety of Mega Man Two, like from beginning <laughs> to end, <laughs> the whole time. Yeah, I remember that. That was, it was so cool. cool. They were cool. They were cool people. But yeah, they were yeah. like, so you're gonna, so they're like, so you're gonna play the whole game? I'm like, yeah. It's like it's like 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have uh, another drink. <laughs> Doctor Gory and I did the same thing for uh, uh, Super Mario World whenever he brought his proprietary Super, Super Nintendo theme. Oh yeah. Yeah. Dude, Super Mario World, dude. It's uh, if, had if the I get my logo on it. It's like the. It. the <laughs> Says Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! There you go. If you if you good. get me like um, if you get me like the actual like Super Mario World, like just get me playing with it. I'm gonna I'm gonna be playing it till I beat it. Just such yeah. an awesome game. It flows like water, dude. Hello, ladies. Just I like think this I'm boat. cute. <laughs> I know I'm sexy. I know I'm sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the looks. <laughs> I drive the girls wild. Thanks, I've got Jeremy. the moves <laughs> that really move them. <laughs> Not your boy toy. Discord first. First ever working on the bonus tracks. The so things are too important to, not... to, to let slip by. Yes. See. Just notice my keys avatar is the pack land. <laughs> of course. Very unfortunate. That's perfect. Yeah, perfect. The, little, the little pack guy fits right into the circle, right? Yeah, he fits. Look at that. <laughs> see? See it on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> I talk a little more so I can see it. University of free play. <laughs> University of free play. Made to hire. <laughs> so stupid man what happened today what happened today when, when this I mean, superheroes and i still haven't heard my song day. is boat guy not this... a superhero he's cute well, he... yeah oh well, yeah you're right you're absolutely right uh, for a minute i thought you were saying he's cute he's that too i'm like yeah <laughs> a good looking man yeah he is look look at him <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, yeah. clearly works out. <laughs> He's got packs. He's not your That's boy toy, sure. but yeah, <laughs> He's got the moves. I mean, you know, I let him date my sister. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I could think, I could think of worse. Be, be careful with that one. <laughs> yeah, no, right. <laughs> Mike he just rides the fine line of being canceled every fucking minute. <laughs> 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 Jeez. Mike B's one of those people where like you're just so powerful. You're just up. You're you're so up the ladder. That it's like yeah, you can just do whatever you want. You good. You good. You golden. Oh, yeah. like, he's gonna make money no matter what. Five hundred plus connections, man. That's pretty good, dude. Yeah. The Oregon yeah, Ducks logo. Down, uh... <laughs> man. Wow. Dude, what is that gonna change to? A little fireball. Oh, it has to be. No, it's gotta be this. It's my heart. I think. Yeah. Just a bow tie. Or the pack man. <laughs> yeah, a bow tie. Bow tie. That'll be fine there. Dude, oh. it's so crazy to see the amount of, you know, for the lack of a better term, garbage that you have on that folder, Ian. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, dude, trash. I have years 
over here. You know what? Let's talk about getting canceled. That's what's in that folder. <laughs> uh, I, don't think, I thought I had the heart by itself, but I guess I didn't. Just look at all the meme like material, materia. Uh, there's yeah. a lot, dude. Let's see, we've got all the Josh Windows stuff. <laughs> like a bunch uh, of Mike B and Chris Delp heads. <laughs> <laughs> the paper boy. What the fuck things. is that? A cat yeah, no. a dog. Uh, just, just stuff for uh, low time. No, <laughs> Jerry's, Jerry's picture. So stupid. Um, oh man. Dude, Mike B. <laughs> I recognize that face. So, so, <laughs> dude, where is that? What is the? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what the, is that the Mike B walk? That's how he walks in the arcade. <laughs> <laughs> Too much swag. Dude, make sure you don't miss them. Yeah. Dude, what is the lore behind that picture of Josh? Seriously. Did he do that on purpose? Is it easy memeing or? No, we always thought it was. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Treasure Master was something that was used for, I think the thing was like Funky or whatever. And everyone's like, dude, Josh, you look like that guy from Treasure Master. Oh, OK. And so we just made him that guy. And then we oh, played okay. it and um, got mad. Uh, was it funky? <laughs> Which is kind of our typical story, honestly. <laughs> yeah. That's how we yeah, roll so here. Yeah, so this is... This is Josh as Treasure Master. But uh, the original one... Oh, this is also the time we put Chris as... <laughs> oh, we added everybody on this one. <laughs> Why is he on the... Oh, here you go. <laughs> so th this is what Treasure Master looked like before. Yeah, I've seen that before. Add Josh. Yeah. I just want to know why he's in the. What, what picture is that up? I guess him him in the window. Oh, I, I have no clue where that came from. Like, I want to know who took that and why. Uh, I I think it was when we were all still like able to to do this in the mornings. I, I'm pretty sure he. I don't know. He just posted that picture for some reason, talking about being. Oh, reflection! It was something about it was the Castlevania. It was the Castlevania one. Music to reflect on, or whatever. Um, and that's uh, unfortunately why I have this image here, and not with the uh, other Josh pictures. But yeah, it was definitely a. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was like a reflection thing, and so he um, he sent us that image and like. Unfortunately, it was easy to meme. Just well, what's in Sonic the Hedgehog screen. 2? In Sonic the Hedgehog 2? It's probably just Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, we need to have like a Mike B specific folder. I, I should probably. No, you shouldn't. I, no one I, should. I have several. <clears throat> Some I keep <clears throat> random several. superhero you look, pictures you, in. Oh, okay. That's cool. Or dance videos. He's a card. See, like, I want just, like, a, a classic Sonic face like that, but I want Mike B's face, like, superimposed on it. <laughs> Can we do that? Did we... It feels like we did something like that, where we made... <laughs> we already did that. <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't Mike. It was somebody else. I think we made somebody Sonic. <laughs> but it was weird, because we had to, like, move his eyes. It's funny, because all, all the Mike was... B memes that I can think of, and you're like, I think we did that already. <laughs> It'll be the third time we do that. <laughs> but we'll do it again. It I totally forget where it was, but I think we did something similar. Was that a Mike B Falcon? Yeah. <laughs> Mike does dream of being a falconer. <laughs> I do want that. I I really do want that. Like just put right just put his uh just his chin like under the helmet. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I've seen yeah. that before. You gotta find. I think just like look up the the hashtag on on uh, Facebook, and you can see all the extra stuff and uh, the other uh, VGM things. Like. Like I Man. really wish I could have like a falcon just at my command. Like I really want that. You That's can do so that. cool. Falcon. You can do that. Thing. Yeah, you can do that. I think my favorite Mike B one was still um, the one we did yesterday. I think was it for entrance theme? No, it was for rock. Uh... <laughs> Does Mike B have an entrance yeah. entrance theme? <laughs> He did post one up. I think it may have been. Don't you, don't you have one? Hulk Hogan? I've got like. Gosh, I don't know. I've got so many. It just depends on what, like your what main persona one. we're going with. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, Lee. Here you go. My favorite. Your, your heel theme. Heel? <laughs> Sorry. 
What mm. the? Oh my god. Dude, who does this? Is this you? Yeah. Yes. This is, this is VGM Wednesday Live. This is literally what yeah, VGM Wednesday welcome Live to VGM is. Wednesday, in fact, man. Jesse needs to be in this week's VGM Wednesday Live. No. I'm done. You can either, you can either send oh, us a no. picture or we'll pick one for you. I suggest the former. <laughs> can I just do that? Can I be Faust and just be the eye? <laughs> oh, you know, I take that back. I think my favorite Mike B was uh, actually not this one. It was, oh, it's sad. I can tell it's Mike B just from something. the eye. <laughs> not from the hat? No. Um, I mean, the hat gives it away. Here. I think there was one where it was Shiva from Streets of Rage 4. It was really good. Yes. Can you, um. Dang it. Can you uh, just like superimpose my face onto the buff beast guy on Altered Beast? <laughs> just do that. <laughs> Paint me with some dignity, please. <laughs> it's a first time for everything. A thing. Don't don't some dunk my. Dignity on VGM Wednesday Live. <laughs> uh, don't don't we have? Let's see. I mean, it's my what it's my do it, for? it is my uh, my current. Since it's my favorite one that uh, included me and everybody I know, it's it's my current background on Facebook. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to remember. It's, oh, Triumphant Return. That's what it's called. Yeah, because we've been doing themes instead of just games now, so I, it's harder to find. Here you go. This one's my favorite Mike B one. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> See Mike in there? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. If, if you need help, I can I can point them out. Let me know if you need help. So much extra work into photoshopping that. I was gonna say there. like I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, stupid. There we go. Just a shirtless Best dude, one. just like Mike would always. Oh uh, really? <laughs> but that's what they did to Shiva, also. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. It's just Mike, Mike Wazowski. Mike I see, I see Keith the, in there. The Derek in the background is still the best, too. <laughs> yeah. Leave so, it to Mike B to show up on the Streets of Rage 4 cover art wearing a Street Fighter 2 hat. Yes. <laughs> about to Wrong send you number, a picture, Mike. Chris. Oh, God. I'm about to send you a picture. No, this one's good. I don't have the show. You did really but... get off topic today. <laughs> oh. No, no, no. This is... I want to send it to Ian. He, well... he, has, he has the... The range here. Yeah, yeah, no, but this, this the one. Capabilities. I mean, it, well, this is probably just for uh, like B real uh -huh. footage, but uh, for, the, for the extra Mike B hard drive, <laughs> <laughs> the other teraflop hard drive. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I like this one. I like this picture. <laughs> like this is this is a good picture right here. Like a good one. Who found that pic? Who, who found this this picture of Jeremy? That's his profile picture. If you, if you go back, <laughs> yeah, go, go he to put his, like, it out. Like his Facebook. Called uh, it Dark literally Web. literally is his profile picture. Darkweb.org. He's been, he's been working out during the quarantine, huh? You know what? That is a good yeah. picture. Damn right it is. Look at that. No, no Just, problem at all with this picture, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Just show <laughs> it. Just show it. It's a good picture of us. I don't have the reins. Oh, God. I, I sent it to Ian. No, you'll like this one, Jason. Oh, uh... is, it, is it the one where Mike B's passed out? <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> I mean, if you look clo in his eyes a little bit, it's clearly a long night. He's morally oh, defeated. He, sorry, this this is another great Mike B one. Is it this one? Dude, is that the, the, Mike, the super Mike thumb? B ice cream. Yeah, dude, I, just, I just saw that. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh. I, want a Mike, I want Mike B on the cookie. Congrats, by the way. How long? How far along is she? Uh, she's not pregnant by me. <laughs> That's unfortunate. It's not what I and heard. It's not what Meltzer she's reported. She's not in the Philippines. Meltzer. It's so. not what I read in the Observer, brother. By the observe, way, observe this, brother. <laughs> by the way, by the way, this is this is a true story, and you you actually just reminded me on what I do have to do today before I go to. Uh, uh, hmm. tonight, the, call, but... the, the signal fires. No, no, no. From across your kingdom. Oh God! Oh my God! Wait, wait. wait. That's what they oh, said. This is back when I was allowed backstage. <laughs> By the way, we, we, found, we found our Jesse picture. That's right. 
That's a right. worst picture, that's, dude. Oh, we that's, we look just got to find our game, man. That's awesome, man. Look at that right there. That's a good picture. <laughs> I was allowed backstage. Look at that. Look at that. that, that that's when... Uh, oh. That's when you don't mess with. That was the night of uh, you don't mess with Texas, brother. <laughs> <laughs> that that was where the uh, trash can came flying from the audience. That was not part of the show. <laughs> if I wasn't with if I wasn't with Mike B, I would have been kicked out of the venue by that time. <laughs> so stupid. I've uh, been down that road many a time. Oh my god! Oh Can my you god, please that... put us on the Double Dragon cover art? Oh I'm man, not, you make... we have we have a with bros one like that oh, too. Oh god, yeah, I can, right, I, can yeah. Already, <laughs> I can already see him like annihilating us. Look at that shirt, man. Look at that. That's a the Pac-Man shirt. <laughs> oh, the Bullet Club, dude. I forgot that shit Bullet existed. Bullet Club Mac Pac-Man shirt. Oh yeah, that's right, brother. Japan. Yeah. Beltran pulled his strings at Namco and in New Japan. <laughs> <laughs> he used both hands on this shit. He's like, what if? New Japan makes uh-huh. a Bullet Club shirt. Yeah. But Namco does it Pac Man. Yeah. <laughs> I get my perfect shirt. Yeah. No one bought oh, yeah. it with me. Oh, no. Oh, that, plenty, plenty of people bought that shirt. Well, I got the second uh-huh. one, so. Yeah. I think the second one's pretty cool. Yeah, the second one is cool. The one that Chris should have got like four years ago now. <laughs> I, got four te- years. I got the Tekken Tap Out shirt. That was the first one that I, had, I. That was the first crossover I could remember. Those were cool because, like, at the time, Tekken Six was new and Tap Out was like, that was like the the hotness. Mm. This it was is the first time I ever right recall a crossover that was like in the game because Armor King wore his Tap Out shirt. This yeah, they also the crossover with a uh, KFC. I remember there's chicken in the game. Was it Tekken Seven? Uh, KFC's in. I think um, it was. Is in Crazy Taxi. Yeah, but like in Tekken, there was like KFC ads. It's like, why are KFC ads in this? <laughs> and then I realized, like, wait a second. I remember, didn't they yell out chicken or something like that on um, one a, of the uh, the moves? Not the moves. A reversal but, uh, reversal is a chicken in Tekken. Yep. And I think they said the same thing. It was like that weird Tekken mode where you can um, still do combos and stuff. But it was like a weird yeah, 3D te- Tekken brawler. Force mode is uh, yes. the beat-em-up in the Tekken universe. Dude, that was pretty cool. And and the healing item is a chicken, and it makes the chicken sound, which is a move in Tekken, and that is the reversal mm-hmm. reversal. I thought that was, like, brilliant. I was like, oh, okay. By sense. the way, the first time you that actually KFC. land a chicken on somebody in the arcade is the moment that they quit playing Tekken with you forever. Because <laughs> they know. Oh, God. No, because they don't know. They're like, hey, I know Tekken. I know how to do a reversal. Watch this. I'm going to grab your hand and chicken. And it punches them, and you win via perfect. And it's just, oh, I'm never playing again. Like the counter. What that? What did they put for Killer Instinct? The counter breaker oh. <laughs> for the combo breaker. Hmm. It's like, I'm going to I'm gonna combo break your combo breaker. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. It's very much like that. <laughs> Wait, and Stimpy coming right. back? Is that true? Yes, we did mention it earlier. Dude, yes, yes. Um, I'm jaded, man. I've lost all faith in like reboots. Yeah, I, I don't know how. I mean, gosh, I don't know how Rin and Stimpy will work in today's times, but uh, you know, I feel like kind of like Beavis and Butthead, right? When they brought it back, well, Tom Beavis and Butthead, be powdered toast man. <laughs> <laughs> Like, Beavis and Butthead was cool because at the time it wasn't supposed to be cool. You know right. what I mean? Like, it was dumb. <laughs> and there was no expectations of it at all. It was just kind of... It, it was its own thing. But when you return, when you bring it back and it has fanfare, all of a sudden, like, even before I even see the episode, I know it's not Beavis and Butthead simply due to the fact that it's even being hyped. That it's even being highlighted. Part of it is the fact that it shouldn't be highlighted. It's just random stuff. Kind of like some of my favorite programming was, was like, the old... Um, original Adult Swim stuff. Like, part of the reason why it was fun is because it wasn't supposed to be good. It wasn't supposed to be like premiered or highlighted. It just played. Andy with uh, the nice shout out to me. He he saw what I contributed to the playlist that is dude. down right now. <laughs> I'm just afraid, dude. Oh, it's playing. What the hell this dude's doing? Oh, sorry, I you don't... can't hear it because Boat Guy. Oh, sorry, Fred Boat is down. But oh. I am playing it live on the air. 
Oh, okay. okay. Book, okay. Book guy's only down if you want him to be down. Right. <laughs> For the right price. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> are we, are we going to end up on the on the LinkedIn as like uh, oh contacts? yeah, I just need a, <laughs> I just need a <laughs> oh, just a contact. Oh, it's not on this page. People who can vouch for him. <laughs> I just needed to add a little bit of a... something, something. At the uh, mm -hmm. at the risk of actually okay. well, it's, it's doing the comic book thing. I'm trying to figure out no. if, if Fred boats back up or not. Hey, let's see. Hey, Chris, I have a request. Yes. For tonight's thing. Listen. Can we can we call tonight's event Free Play Underground? <laughs> and make it like really cool and like have <laughs> some women like dancing for no that reason. To me tomorrow on the show because I am confused. <laughs> we we got to make it look really cool, man. Oh man, it, it, it's not it's not like yeah. So we'll save save that for tomorrow. Yeah, We're not throwing shit at the wall at all. Definitely would we'll be a topic of conversation tomorrow during Nerd Side of the Ring podcast. You guys remember the '90s yeah. where there was like naked women and like dingy stuff. <laughs> Hey, like I that. hear music. People having sex in the middle of the ring. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, yeah, I hear music. Yeah. well, I fixed anyway. it. <laughs> hey. All right, guys. Oh, by the way, um, for, this is for Damien and Jesse. But uh, 15 years ago today was the actual Shawn Michaels brother, 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 brother. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I think Mike's having a seizure. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's that's an actual Shawn Michaels uh, brother, interview brother. with the fake uh, Larry King. Dude, I love, I love that match for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was like, it wasn't even like, oh, he's making fun of Hogan. Like, yeah, like of course he is. But the fact, like, backstage pettiness was on full display in front of a live audience. <laughs> <laughs> it's so petty on everybody's end, you know. Yeah, but yeah, the the, the interview segment with the fake Larry King, Shawn Michaels, <laughs> he just comes in as Hulk Hogan, and he's just every other word, brother, and then brother, and brother, 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 brother. <laughs> so to be fair, to be fair, he wasn't he wasn't that far off. Uh, I'll go back and watch it. He just <laughs> just brother, brother, brother. I know. Yeah. Oh my God, just so. Jeez. I do have another replay. another historic tidbit here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes. Thirty five years ago to the day. Whoa. Okay. All right, we're just gonna have to give Jesse Mike B News. It's gonna be Mike <laughs> B News starring Jesse. Thirty five years ago to the day. In fact, to the to the minute in three minutes. Ooh. Michael Beltran had his first match. Oh. <laughs> Smoky Mountain Wrestling. Oh my God. <laughs> Smoky Mountain Wrestling. This is a momentous day indeed. Oh my god. So stupid. Smoky Mountain Wrestling. They weren't even around then. Yeah, well, I mean, they were around for you. That's right. Made an they were around in the 90s. Oh my god. Uh, geez. It was a Mike B versus a young... Michael P.S. Hayes. Oh my god. It was versus... No. Uh, Damien, get this, dude. You're not going to believe who it was against. Okay, oh you ready? You're not ready. I'm not ready. It, it was against a young, inexperienced, ready for this, Tom huh? McGee. Tom McGee, wow. Michael Beltran versus Tom <laughs> McGee. It does exist, Damien. There is footage. It's a little grainy. Oh, my God. That is a joke for <laughs> three people only. Only. <laughs> only. That is under the... Like it, we won't, we don't have enough time in VG and Wendy to explain all this to Chris and Ian. The, fo the footage is a little. This is the first thing that we did, Mike. This is like the first thing we did. We're gonna get to assless chaps soon. Is what's oh happen. yes. Oh man. The tradition continues. That's all I gotta say. The Where's footage, the level? footage does exist. I'm just throwing it out there for all you <laughs> conspiracy marks. <laughs> conspiracy marks. Oh, that's it, a good one. It's out conspiracy there, man. Conspiracy marks. I'm not gonna oh, point. Man, that's 
Oh my god, that's next level right there. I don't know if I can actually handle that. I'm just pointing people to the direction where uh -huh. it ends up. You know, God only knows. Yeah. Oh, you still haven't found the dance footage though. I know. I think Crystal has like you know. <laughs> money it's out. locked in the vaults of of, of uh, <laughs> CW. I, I, I still have CW. this one hundred dollar bill. I have not received the shirtless mm -hmm. Mike B dancing video yet. You won't have. You I won't have, get it. I have a full season of Mike B on high TV, uh -huh. which we occasionally run. I think that I think that's what inspired him to do the. Uh, <laughs> the video presentation on Friday because I was making a video presentation of just him on high TV. Oh, I like where this picture's going right here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you, you gave us some dignity, we're, so we're, thank you. I, as long as I'm Cyclops. It back. Oh, you're Cyclops. Okay, okay. Just nah, uh, uh, yeah, 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 Jesse's more of a Cyclops. <laughs> Jesse's more of a Cyclops, if you ask me. He does have the, the eyewear. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> He, he's more of a handsome. Get working on this. <laughs> but was it um, when you were explaining to me Angel Garza, and you were like, "Yeah, he's like a, he's like a pretty boy. He's like he's like you." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's he's so handsome. He's too handsome. He is a good looking man. He's too handsome. Like not as good looking as Boat Guy, but yeah. Like you, you go back and watch. Uh, Very few of us can. Uh, NXT from like late last year, earlier this year, and you hear Nigel McGinnis just like. Lose his ass every time he rips off his pants. Like, oh my goodness, he's <laughs> the most handsome man in the world. He's which a good he, man. Which he really he's, is. He, he's one of those guys that, uh, you know, I wouldn't say needs a crowd, but damn, is he better with one? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, too handsome. Too handsome. Dude, I'm just, my face is just completely. <laughs> no, I, we'll get there. <laughs> you're, 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 yeah, I know. I should trust in the process. Clearly, yeah. it's work for might be. <laughs> Jeez, it's proven. <laughs> okay, I gotta chime in here really quick. Yeah. Oh, welcome back. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Yes. So found much. the footage. Ten minutes, I gotta chime in. So yeah. first, the Tom McGee thing, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Long story short, minutes. Tom <laughs> McGee is the physical embodiment of what Vince McMahon looked for back in the day. Buff, long, mullety hair. Looks like he could be on a surfboard or a billboard, either or. Uh -huh. And they had him work against Brett the Hitman Hart. And Brett made him look like a million dollars. Because does. Brett's that damn good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Right then and there, Vince wanted to push him to the moon. Tom McGee, to the moon. The max moon. <laughs> <laughs> like, like he was the Otherwise next known Hulk as Conan. Hogan. Yeah, he would have been the next Hulk Hogan. I love you, Jesse. And he was bad. Very bad. <laughs> like, yeah, actually, like, actually terrible. Not bad as in, like, yeah, he's yeah. a cool guy. No, he, he, he was the shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, once, once, once he got on his own, outside of Brett, like, it just, oof. It wasn't that yeah. good. But, man, boy, th this dude had the look, man. Like, he is, like, I mean, you're if you want definition of, like, what handsome was supposed to look like in the 80s it was <laughs> fabio yeah yeah he was fabio he was yeah he was a wrestling fabio oh yeah. uh, yes the, the guy from the uh, iron sword cover of egm sure yes yeah absolutely i think he actually but, was wasn't he yes he was or doesn't actually yeah wait by the way i think i have iron, iron sword <laughs> too <laughs> does free play still have the fabio uh stand-up yeah uh Oh, good. I mean, it only comes out at Christmas. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Yeah, we, we need to see more of that. I've got the... I've actually... I have the Santa Claus hat, too. <laughs> you know what else we need to see, guys? Uh-oh. My B match with him and Tom McGee. <laughs> yes. Somewhere around there. Six. Yes. Six. Around there. Six. I, yeah. I to put another bounty on that one. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Are we found the Bret Hart video. For the, for the bounty and everything. <laughs> If we Gosh. found the hard video, we can find the Beltran video. <laughs> Just saying. Oh my God! And you know what? The the lore on that actually is like I do know someone that actually has that uh, DVD slash tape, and uh, and yeah. I have actually put a bounty <laughs> out on it. Mm -hmm. I have shown everybody the uh, the exact hundred dollar bill. <laughs> hundred dollar uh, Beltran buck. Thanks for joining us. You've, you're you are in hour four of kicking Mike B in the nuts. No, this ain't me. This is all Withers. 
This is a wither show. Is it? I think I think we've uh, we've yeah we've uh, we've pivoted. Yeah, we've morphed into something else. Yeah, mighty <laughs> might we've mightily morphed into something greater. <laughs> mutated. You oh mutated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say we've mutated. That's for damn sure. Been oh mutating for a while now. And also <laughs> for for Chris, also for context. If you go back, Chris, and watch the Shawn Michaels versus Hulk Hogan match, when I when I say overselling is an understatement, it is an understatement. It's comical. It was a Looney Tunes match. Yeah, yeah, it was uh... <laughs> mostly oh, of, uh, you know on Michael's side. He was the one that was just <laughs> bouncing around like he was Ziggler or something. <laughs> <laughs> He took the big boot and then he flopped around like twice, got up and <laughs> fell back <Yeah>. down. <laughs> it really was like the Wiley e. Coyote taking the anvil to the head, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. Like a bling. Oh, man. Everybody oh, keeps typing that. Everybody keeps typing in the chat like, hey, what's up, guys? And then like a few seconds later, what did I what walk into? What the heck? <laughs> yeah. yeah, this has probably been the most outrageous VGM so far. <laughs> and that's saying something. Oh, no, not We've had we've had more outrageous. Yeah, again, we have not got to assless chaps yet. Ian's no, too good yet. at like manipulating this stuff. Uh, you get used to it. You learn how to manipulate people. <laughs> in Photoshop, He's making a IRL. whole visor out of half of one. Yeah, no, that's yeah. that's that's impressive. Ian, yeah, when you were a kid, fit. did we you make, realize you're gonna you're gonna know how to do this? <laughs> no. And no clue I was going to work on the famous Mike B's face. Oh my god. <laughs> For a living. For a living, yeah. For a living. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god. Right, how do I... It's not like he doesn't have the money to pay you. <laughs> so this is stupid. So stupid. How many Foot Lockers do you own? I don't own a Foot Locker. <laughs> oh, sorry, franchise owner. I know you don't own the company. I you work remember that last time. Part time at one, or soon again to be part time. Part, at one. How can you be a part time franchise owner? <laughs> yeah, so stupid. <laughs> or you have someone oh, do it for you? Uh huh. Yeah, that's exactly. It. Yeah, <laughs> I pay someone to be a part time franchise owner of something that I don't <laughs> own. <laughs> so, how's the XFL thing doing? Do you, uh, do you have you already heard from the rock or did, did the paycheck come through already or is it bouncing? <laughs> i'm not affiliated with the rock well i think himself. mike actually has to go through the rock's ex-wife if he wants a piece of the xf <laughs> <laughs> oh this is true yes yeah, his ex-wife is part of the majority first... owner i guess there's a mm -hmm. second time for everything oh my god the rock has an ex-wife yeah yep. his business partner is his ex-wife yeah Oh, this Damn. must have been before he got famous. No. No? Oh, oh wow. No, they, they were, they the were uh, college sweethearts yeah. and all that mm -hmm. other cool oh, stuff. They met in the weight room, actually. Yeah. Well, like at the wow. doctors or what? No, working out on campus <laughs> yeah, at the University yeah. of Miami. <laughs> the doctors. Where they told him he was the father. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's when we met. Yeah. yeah like, oh, okay. <laughs> Now look for her at on NXT. Yes, so, the oh, That's right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you know that, Chris? Oh, really? What's that? Um, the Rock's the Rock... doctor is on NXT. No, the Rock's daughter. daughter. Oh, daughter. Daughter. Hey, Chris. Yeah. Um, I have a I have a request, real quick, if it's possible. Uh oh, uh -oh. here we go. Can we call this edition this edition of VGM Wednesday VGM Wednesday Underground? And can we make like the screen like a little darker? Make a little like look a little like it's dirty. We can't give away the underground stuff till tomorrow. We yeah, really have tomorrow. to talk about this tomorrow. That's tomorrow. I, that want the, tomorrow. I want the screen to be a little darker, a little harder to read. <laughs> Rainy uh, put, footage. Put a gif, put a, a, a gif or a video of like women pole dancing for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason. In the corner. Put it in the corner. Here, here I'll, I'll help you out. Um... Shane McMahon just yelling. <laughs> well, replace Mike B. Shane McMahon with Mike B. Same thing. <laughs> Same thing. Be underground. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But free more on that yeah, tomorrow. Yes. PJ more went, there you go. Look, there he goes. How did oh you get my. pictures of uh, there you go. of uh, go. of, uh, of underground? Oh dear. There you go. Oh goodness. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> no, no, no. That's VGM underground right there. Oh dear. Yeah. 
This is boat guy practicing right now. Welcome. Welcome yeah. to be careful what you ask for, Jesse. Yeah, oh, just make no. the screen darker, grittier, and uh, tell people that it's the 90s. Oh, goodness. <laughs> there you go, man. man Here's your great. third hour right here, buddy. This is great. You want ratings? Ratings gold! <laughs> there you go, dude. It's such good shit. All right. Uh, all right, yeah, I'll more on that. All okay. of that. More on that tomorrow. Doesn't this guy yeah. work on in that uh, <laughs> Cowboy Stadium normally in pre-COVID times? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can find them in <laughs> parking lot C at Cowboy yeah, Stadium. really put this guy. Those, those fifty dollars seats. That's that's where they're at, right? Yeah. Oh man. Or yeah. Seats. There's not seats there. What, what do they call no. that thing, Mike? Standing for the party zone. Standing room yeah, only. Party zone. There you go. The party. Yeah. Zone. yeah that's uh, Belch, the Belch fan zone. <laughs> the B zone. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Welcome Gosh, to man. BGM Underground, bro. Yeah. You ain't boy, seen there's... nothing like this, bro. I'm totally not booking it's this like we one, need bro. More My hands right? are clean from this one, bro. And again, we need a Russo impersonation every week. Every week. <laughs> I want to hire a guy. This is definitely what you can expect tonight from uh, that and more Carlos. Carlos, yeah, some expletive. I'm just hoping he doesn't do the actual Stone Cold entrance with I thought the he was gonna. Skull IPA. Well, I mean, the cleanup on that's gonna take a while. I'll clean it. I'll clean it up. And and, and it here. I don't want any collateral classic arcade damage. Enough beer. Or people already. slipping and falling on the beer. So yeah, he'll no, do no, it in the no, no, no. I'm, I'm concerned about the classic arcade caps. Oh, forget the people. Got yeah, you. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heck with humans. Protect the arcade. <laughs> and wear your outside shoes. We could just make more humans. You can't make more CRTs. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. Uh, nice. Unless, unless Mike B drops it off on the outside of people's homes <laughs> in the middle of the night. I mean, we're about five months away from Becky Lynch having Mike's baby, so it's okay. Yeah. True. Baby. I mean, he's <laughs> saying no, but you know, when it comes out, and that Marty episode is going to be hot. <laughs> Me and Seth Rollins there just That's some other footage that exists, uh, by the way, Chris. There is a Mari episode of of Mike B. By the way, no, I, there is it. It's, it's been <laughs> scrubbed. I don't know if this is the first time ever, but this is the music from the Batman pinball table. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> yeah, it's because it's a superhero themed. So this whole this whole little segment has Gold been that. Actually, I'll, we're, we're in the sound test version, so point of it. So I'm gonna skip ahead. But yeah, I wonder if Ian knows table. why there's a stripping man on the side. Or did he just he just does things? <laughs> just does. So things. I just I I do what the people ask for. I'm a man of the people. Gotcha. <laughs> people is. want um, a, a somebody on a stripper pole I'll be giving them somebody I just like how you don't question it you're just like oh you want that here you go let me google it <laughs> you don't even wait for details you just start doing it you got it right I'm all for the absurdist stuff. you you did it better than they did put it that way <laughs> <laughs> let's see okay the question is how do I get this on oh yeah I remember this stage oh yeah this is good Good stuff. What is Great. this? Pac-Man 4? 4. <laughs> For four. the Amiga. Yeah. Oh, dude. I'd be all in on that. I'd <laughs> be all in on that. A young... A young 14-year-old might be playing his brand new Odyssey. Yeah, I, <laughs> brand new up, Odyssey. I left this up on the Facebook, too. Like, What's our Facebook crowd thinking of this? Feel free to chime in on that chat too. Oh, oh yeah, they can see it over there too. Oh yeah, this is on Facebook too. Yeah. Oh, you're oh. done, dude. Me? That's it. <laughs> it's not me. All of us. We're all done. Uh. Damien should have never joined the chat because now you're lumped into this. <laughs> 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 now he's a part of it. I've yeah. been a part of worse. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, my man. My man. C W. He's oh. Yeah, there you go. See, you you getting it? You getting nah, it? I, I watched it back in the day. I've had My shady man. dealings back in New York, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting, dude. I'm waiting for M. I'm waiting for MB Dub. That's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> so Michael Beltran wrestling. Oh, 
Ooh. Oh God! First <laughs> ever <laughs> proprietary free play wrestling promotion. <laughs> that, that, we're getting we'll close fight. to that tonight. We'll definitely shoot some promos after after. Yeah. Everything's guess who's all got, said and done. Guess who's got the book? <laughs> yeah, I got the book, brother. <laughs> Wonder how many? What's the over under on the amount of brothers used in promos <laughs> tonight? Oh man. <laughs> Oh, it's brother. At least over 10. <laughs> oh, brother, brother. Oh, my God. I mean, it is the anniversary, right? Yeah, it <laughs> it's is. It's going to yeah. be like, uh, like, was it the cat game, the meow game from uh, Super Troopers? Oh, Super Troopers, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mike B, all we need is, a, dude, I know where to get a wrestling ring. Well, I know you have a wrestling ring, but I'm, you know, I'm I trying don't to be have nice. a wrestling um, ring. <laughs> I know where to get a wrestling ring. Yeah, I um, do, too. <laughs> I do too, actually. That's I right. know you can rent one. One of three different rooms in the palatial Beltran Estates. No, 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 not yeah. that, not that. Okay, you can't get that. Those wrestling rings out. <laughs> we can do it. We, we can oh, do it. Are we prize. talking mud wrestling, Mike? Whoa! No, Mike hosts those. This one, Mike's, Mike's going to be mud oh, for Jello wrestling. <laughs> Mike's, Mike's going to be like in the main event of of MBW. I mean, he's going to be the the first ever. He's going to be the champ. He's going to be the first ever Mike B versus the roster in the I Quit match, and he wins. <laughs> Everybody else quits. <laughs> Wearing a luchador mask. If I can get to my uh, WCW versus NWO N64 game, you might find <laughs> Mike B wrestling in there. My creative characters. <laughs> creative character? No, that was stock. Yeah. Fuck. Hidden hidden character. Hidden character with THQ, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, THQ. Just, man. Uh, <laughs> up. <laughs> Was it up, down, down, up, jab, and there it is, Mike B. No. <laughs> so good, dude. I've been, <laughs> I've, I've been wanting to use um, uh, Chris's um, his green screen thing because I want to digitize Mike B, and I want to for the first time ever, I just wanted to go in there and crack Mortal Kombat two and just put Mike B in it. <laughs> Jeez. That is one thing I'm never going to do. I'm gonna, never going to stand in front of that green screen. You know, we never. Could have, I'll just take a bunch of pictures then. Uh -huh. We could have pressure luck. No. Nope. Up and running tomorrow. Oh, that's true. No. Use the I original am, whammy for pressure luck. I am you have literally the standing in front of the green screen right now. Would not no, no, no. Much. In fact, Camber is working mm -hmm. on getting me an entire green wall. She's got some canvas. Damn. I don't know what she's got it from, but... She can make the entire wall green. <laughs> what I want is a green here. room. I mean, that's pretty much what we're doing. <laughs> God. <laughs> Get Mike in there. We that's can put so Mike everywhere. <laughs> Antarctica. Antarctica. We can put him at free play. Outside of Josh's window. Yeah. Again. Again. <laughs> it's just looking at him. <laughs> that's so stupid. It's just a new one every time. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the Ryu headband to get on Mike's forehead. <laughs> oh, it'll get there. It'll get there. <laughs> like, like that's a highlight of the day. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's a peak, peak of 2020. Yeah, that right there. <laughs> Other than Mike B's, you know, Mike B's uh, congratulations on you know like the pregnancy and stuff. All right. For, first off, Ian's insane <laughs> for doing this. But second, uh, this is really a masterclass. Having done what you've done to this this uh, visor. I was gonna say, dude, like th that's more work than I've done in Photoshop. Period. Like, <laughs> it's, there's it's different levels of, of how you do this, how you do yeah. this, Ian. And this is this is mm -hmm. your master level right here. You have actually like, because that thing is not in any way at that form <laughs> or angle, and you've absolutely no. put it on his face. Congratulations. I, I thought he was gonna. I thought you were gonna turn my face to be like Cyclops, but now nah, you you took Cyclops' visor. It's like, give me that. <laughs> Let me put another half on it. it. Let me make it curve perfectly. Yeah, it makes it easier because like this is this is the fake thing. You're the real thing. If I manipulate the real thing, it's gonna look like it's been right. changed. You know what I mean? Versus, I mean, this thing's fake. People, you, you know, know, it looks like a cartoon. Is... Yeah. Yeah. Where, whereas in real life, only Mike B looks like a cartoon. Hmm. <laughs> Mike, that, Guys, I know why Mike B picked man. this photo because he's got the fresh cut. The fresh fade. <laughs> I didn't think that. Of that. He's got the little the little Goldberg beard going on. Yeah, any, oh anytime, my god. <laughs> Goldberg beard. Anytime he's he's uh he's going to a show and Becky Lynch is in town. Oh, yeah. the, uh, you know he's gonna be a little late to free play, let's just put it that way. <laughs> Jeez. 
Oh my god. And again, congratulations, Becky. Yeah, uh, congratulations, Mike B, as well. Well, to her, yeah. Not to me. I'm, she's not well, pregnant. Well, to both of you, really. Let's not be biased here. No, no, no. She's not pregnant by me. Seth Rollins. Huh? He, he, he did that. Uh-huh. I have a Street Fighter question, guys. We're listening. But don't ask Mike. So, <laughs> yeah, Mike's Street answer Fighter is low oh. tiger shot. <laughs> for Street Fighter V, the new release, the, yeah, we the don't, new none of us are going to know the answer to this one. Uh -oh. I might. Here we go. Okay. Would anyone be willing to use Akira? Yes. I, rival no. schools? Very much. Very much so. Why no. not? Because I mean, Rose for me caught my eye, but you know, I love rival schools. So seeing Akira there, it's like, huh, interesting. Yeah. Selfishly, like I want to. The only character you. that's Capcom's, right? He plays more like a Tekken character, though, from what I remember. He also plays like a Tekken a character. Akira. Akira's a lady. Hmm? Akira's a lady. Her motorcycle garb, yes. Yeah. Hey, guys, you got the perfect uh, music going on right now. Okay, how do I get Mike's face? Sorry, just figured I'd ask that question because I just saw that come oh. across my timeline. Like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> It's cool. It's the, the the problem isn't like the characters. The problem is the game. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Nothing takes the air out of the room in free play more like mentioning Street Fighter Five. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, that bad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Street Fighter Four. We're good. It's like if you go to a wrestling convention. Hey, you know who, you know who was my favorite wrestler? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that one guy. What's his name? I used to watch him all the time. Mike B. Yeah. <laughs> Xbox. Yeah, I used to watch it all the time. I remember this guy and this guy. Yeah, Boke, I, the other day, me and Boke, we were playing um, on Rizone stream. Shout out to Rizone. Riz1, Riz1. Um, and we, me and Boke, we talked about like the Street Fighter announcements, and we were like, I'm sure the characters are going to be cool. Like, it's cool to hear the characters, but unfortunate, it's unfortunate about the game. As a matter yeah. of fact, Bo uh, Boat Guy, um, I have a comment, because I, I, I did watch it like live here with my friend, and I saw a guy post on, on the on the chat could they spoiler they released uh they announced that aura was going to be in the game right um from street fighter 3 and then yes. a guy in a guy in the chat says i love oro but i i hope i was wishing he wasn't announced that way he i would he wouldn't be in street fighter 5 he would be in another game right yeah yeah <laughs> oh, damn so this guy's a fan of oro and he's actually kind of like disappointed that Aura was announced for Street Fighter V because right. it he wished him just that much. Yeah. <laughs> well, like he also means that that means he's not going to be in six or he's not going to be in anything for a good while. Yeah. <laughs> I, Dude. Yeah. I, I've... Who? Okay. Who picked this music? This, uh, this is Spider-Man and the X-Men. This might be Was a, it deliberate or is it random? Well, it's Spider-Man and the X-Men. Yeah. Theme. So it's, it's from it's probably Arcade's Josh. Revenge. Dude, I played the sh the hell out of this game. <laughs> I, I, there you I, go. I would guess this game tracks. I'm not I'm not totally sure, but yeah, boat guy, was that you? Did you oh, pick this? It, I was gonna say if this is Tim Fallen, actually it might be boat. Dude, I this game sucks, and mm. I played it so <laughs> so much. <laughs> Wait, this game is terrible. If this game sucks and it has great music, then yeah, it probably is Tim Fallen. Tim Fallen. Yeah, Tim Fallen. Dude, this game is so bad. But the music is awesome. The graphics are okay. I, I am holding out as long as I can to hear my one song I put Dude, in the playlist. To start the show. No, we didn't. <laughs> what niche? We, like, you got to be up we at like one in the morning show. putting songs on the playlist like Tiger Lily and myself last night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Jeez, was. like... I guarantee it getting played that's <laughs> cheating man there, there should there should be like like a like like a cutoff <laughs> <laughs> yeah well or you'll be like I'll, carlos I'll uh, you know. texting people at four in the morning mike you put one song in there one song and it counts okay, it you, does you, count you've got one of 127 chance mm. to uh you know Ooh. get it played today yeah so you're telling me there's a it, chance it's, it's, there's a, a little chance less than one percent but yeah if anything yeah you you blame damien and tiger lily like Dude, Bo Bo guy, this game sucks, bro. Songs. Oh, you think this game sucks? Wait for these Justice League ones. <laughs> Dude, the Justice League, that game can't be worse than Arcade's Revenge, Dude, Arcade's Revenge is, it's like Arcade's Revenge was designed to piss you off. It's not, <laughs> it's, not just, it's not just that the game, like, okay, like, 
okay like the, the controls are bad no like the design the level design is terrible the way you get hit yeah calling like, the design is a is a probably a bridge too far <laughs> well it seems like it is designed it's just designed to like make make it really uncomfortable like just not fun for you yeah this is uh this, oh, sorry, go ahead. this dude is like a youtuber i think and so people are just gonna jump in or might be who are watching like the thumbnail right now are just gonna see like a random markiplier on a poll. I want to see what this thumbnail looks like on um, on Twitch. I bet it's hilarious. Oh, I just saw that Tiger Lily added Superman 64 music. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> he has music? I just want to have any music. I mean, licensed games were all horrific until what? The Dark Knight games? Black, the Batman games? Was the Arkham Asylum games? That's it. That's the first it's time the, I remember uh, playing a, a licensed superhero game and thinking, you know what? Uh, Good game. Oh, superhero? I mean, I don't know. Does Willow count as a superhero? But he, he doesn't have his own game outside of Mount Beltran, where you know it's just a custom prototype. Hmm. Still don't yeah. know what that means. Ar Arcade's <laughs> Revenge. That's uh. <laughs> Mike just no stalled. That's game design with the with the infinite monkey theorem that we were talking with Damien about the other day. Dude, Bogai, did you play the Incredible Hulk um, on the Sega Genesis? Oh man, you Chris for that joke, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Which joke? Got me. It was it was it was a long burn. It was a long burn about the New York Knicks, and I was so invested in Chris's monkey story. Like, oh, this is great. And then he just drops like a New York Knicks diss in the middle of it. And I'm just thinking, <laughs> I hate you. Oh, and it's with the switcheroo. Uh, it's a double played it on the. Boca, you played on the say, Super Nintendo. I didn't say Osagat plays for him. That'd be huh. worse. Osagat's just a fan. Because the, the incredible Hulk game, mm -hmm. that. That game was horrendous, but the music was like really cool. I, I haven't played that one either. I thought Spider-Man: Web of Shadows was pretty decent. Uh, I played the the the, the Activision Spider-Man on PS One at the end of its life cycle was actually pretty good too. Yeah, the PS One was really good. Was good. Voiced by the guy who did the cartoons like on Fox nice. a long time ago. So that was that was one of the that was like the first like, of good in my mind. Is, was it Activision? No, I forget who made it. I, uh, yeah, the Tony Hawk people. So uh, it is Activision, but Activision. Mm -hmm. I don't know what. Uh, never saw. Never saw. What the heck is it? Oh yeah, never saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have the uh, guide for that still. I think that's when I used to buy guides, mostly for the art and stuff too. But... So I still have Tekken Tag and Tekken Three guides. I actually met Tragic. Uh, the writer of the Tekken guides. He was, uh, he, wow. lived, here, he lived here briefly. Is everyone in Texas? I, uh, that's everyone how I meant Everyone um... important. <laughs> yeah, the whole Tekken Austin. scene, Tragic was here. Um, I don't know. Mr. Wizard lived somewhere else. He was in the Tekken scene back then. But it's funny, not, whenever, not, whenever, not Texas. Whenever we talk about, like, video games or fighting games, Mike Beach just has, like, he's got nothing to contribute to that. He's like, I don't know what that is, unless you guys are talking about Pac-Man, yeah, or, <laughs> Pac or wrestling, Pac Pac Pokemon, yeah. or my so days, in, or my days at Smoky Mountain. Mm. Smoky Mountain. No, hey, Superman the arcade game was kind of all right it, for its time. And it is it's on an arcade this list. game. I put it on it the is? list. Well, I actually own it. I put it at a local <laughs> grocery store way back in the day. Can we play Mike B's song? Like. Like how oh, the one that I, I tried. I tried. I want to see what it is. It's one song. One song. That's, that's the running joke is that Mike's song never gets played. And it does. It's on there. So if, <laughs> it if, people, never gets if people want to go look it up, they can look at the playlist contributed by Mike B. Fredbo, what are you doing this time? Uh oh. So what's the, what's the lore behind Fredbo? Is that related to Boat Guy at all? I sh should be boat guy's cousin working yeah. for us. <laughs> Fred, Fred, Fred Withers. Yeah. Fred Withers. <laughs> Secret unlockable Withers, brother. 
second. Oh, uh, man. Redbo's Tommy's the, the first the bot one. that doesn't, doesn't play our music, but sometimes does. Do we have a Mike yeah, B trivia for... game? <laughs> Mike B news every day. No, Should like be... like 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 a Mike B trivia, like something we can put people on the spot and be like. We we did have an entire category of free play arcade <laughs> Jeopardy that was dedicated to Michael Beltran. And p- please tell me that none of the answers were like truth. Uh, it was good. It was good. I, I we definitely highlighted it. You can find it back there. Because I want to make sure that all the answers are like not true, but they'll be labeled as true. If you if you ask me, they were true. <laughs> I don't even remember what those what those were. I think they were pretty factual, though. I think factual. Notice he didn't say true; he said factual. <laughs> the man knows his lingo, man. He's been to court. Court. <laughs> Yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> He's fought for his uh, his uh, clientele, clientele mostly like his. Um, oh, I was a client. His, his copy, <laughs> his copy. <laughs> Mike's fought for his copyrights before. Yeah. Like, no, 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 I own that. <laughs> it's oh, like Mike. Did, did, we're just using this mascot for like, like the Boy Scouts. He's like, no, you gotta pay. <laughs> The boys. Uh, what is this from? This is Injustice, Gods Among Us. Yeah, it sounds familiar. Definitely, definitely a superhero game. Or super for some game. reason, for some reason, the game was uh, the the sound the the song was pissing me off. So I knew it must have been from something terrible. <laughs> <laughs> the game is what I, I'll give him this. The sounds for that game were always like really good, like. Um, who's, who's the bad guy? Um, Superman? No. Well, uh, Darkseid. Like, Darkseid's, um, beams always sounded really good. Like, the punches, they always do really well with, like, just the, the sounds of their moves and stuff. Like, Batman, like, throwing batterings and, like, the clanging, clinging and stuff always sounded great. But I never See, liked, like, the, the animations and stuff. Dude, the animations are some of the worst I've seen in a 3D game, and I'm not even joking, dude. It, it breaks so many rules of like basic anatomy it's crazy it's it's because they're sticking too much to like reality it's like the only thing is it yeah they're, that, I, I, it's like well, they're breaking reality so they're not i know like, what you mean though yeah they're not um over they're not over exaggerating things right kind of like if if something's animated like uh, i think they they were showing it off like in overwatch when like McCree would pull out his gun. It's 3D, but they they kind of over exaggerate some things. Like they'll have like frames where things are stretched out all weird or whatever. It's yeah. just to, to exaggerate like speed and and all that kind of stuff. Um, there was like a whole video about how McCree shooting stuff looks way better than um, uh, who's the who's the cowboy guy in MK? Aaron Black. Yeah. Like it looks more impactful than that. They they talk about how his guns sure they're the correct size and stuff but no one can see them so they look like sticks you know when he's like using them it's not impactful or anything um yeah it's just like all all in animation it doesn't give them that much weight but the sound the sound gives it weight luckily the the they sound quality it. of like nether realm has always been like top notch i'm actually shocked that oh, yeah. that like the games have music but it's almost as if like i can't you really hear it because their music just doesn't really pop a lot yeah but no, dude, their animations are like, oh my goodness. Have you seen Dark so Dark Side <laughs> in that game? Have you seen Dark Side like the way he fights? He has his hands behind his back, right? And the yeah. entire time he's kicking, and it looks like someone, it looks like someone has his hands tied behind his back, and they're telling him, and he still has the chair tied to his back, and they're trying to get him to escape <laughs> from it or something. It looks really bad. I- I do but, like his, like I said, his uh, his beams. I don't know what they're called. They're called something. Those weird little like zigzaggies. Yeah. Yeah, Boker was like, telling me how I, much he loves Injustice. That's like his favorite game. Over ST, man. Yeah. 
Put the, put that in the in the LinkedIn profile. <laughs> the LinkedIn profile. Yeah, injustice one. Injustice in, man. Make sure you say the injustice one, not two. All right. So how do I get? Yeah, flash. Yeah, change Ryu main to Flash main. Hmm. <laughs> the party's more proud of that. Like, how do I get your oh, face dear. on the exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let me read this real quick. Uh-oh. So, I, uh... You can use this to promo the tonight's show. Yeah, yeah actually we could. Mike Beats cutting a promo? Oh, for sure. He wins. Of course. We're having a wrestling night? Yes. Dude, Mike Beats promos are okay at best. And we love him. <laughs> you need some work on the mic, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, so Damien, I know you brought this up earlier. And Jesse, you may have heard about it already, but... Uh, uh, <laughs> Marty. <laughs> yeah, Marty. Oh, so, uh, <laughs> There is a follow-up now. We have a follow-up to that. Really? Yeah, uh-huh. and uh, it says here... Is it from the police department? Columbus Indeed. Police Department TMZ reported that Are the Columbus serious? Police I was joking. <laughs> in Georgia has launched an investigation. <laughs> We're going to look into this department spokesperson said the first step will be seeing if we have any missing persons or un- or unidentified remains cases that match Ooh. the limited information in this post. I was joking that the response would be from the police department. Are they, they going are to jail? <laughs> They'll probably Run. just, you know, take a quick look at the database, see if anything yeah. is Did out there. Go missing. Yeah, around this time, that yeah. worked at a bowling alley. <laughs> you know, <laughs> sold weed. What happens? Oh, preferred men. Yeah. Again, we don't have enough time to <laughs> <laughs> to really <laughs> explain all this. Is this a real Happy. person? Well, yeah, we Marty. Hope, we said, hope not. We hope well, that yeah. wasn't a real person. <laughs> yeah, we hope whatever Marty said. To which a lot of his <laughs> ramblings, man. You I was know, gonna drug- say to be when I saw the little article thing or whatever. It's like to be fair, Janetti has said a lot of stupid shit in the past, and no one's believed him at any. Marty Janetti. Yeah, Marty Janetti. Yeah, he's he's I, come up with a bunch of stuff. Yeah, and I mean the post he did, like that is true. I actually, I do follow him and. That post was real. I actually yeah. saw it late last night. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, real post. Yeah, and I didn't screenshot it, but someone else did before it got deleted. And uh, yeah, nowadays, oh, yeah. people screen someone screenshotting this right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Somebody's screenshotting this. People oh. screenshot everything. What was uh-huh. that one tweet also, from like? Oh, nowadays, you can get a screenshot and it can be fake as hell, like this. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But Wait, this that's is totally you, real. That's you not, can't tell. You, yeah, I was gonna say. Anything can be photoshopped these days. Anything. Yeah, like flash me. No, dude. When I saw that, <laughs> I, that flash. Yeah, flash me. There you go. Then it has a double entendre. <laughs> no pants. Okay. All right. I'm going to depart here for a little bit, but I will That's check back in. We need to really, really dig deep into our kicking that bell turn in the nuts. I will check back in just before three because I might have an awesome update for you. He's got, got some a special new guest. Off-brand Pac-Man. No, no, no. He's, no, he's got no, a special no. guest for tonight. Yeah. A no. world chip, a world champion <laughs> in the main Jackson. promotion. Action Jackson in a Pac-Man T-shirt. Oh my god! <laughs> he's gonna get Dork the Clown to oh, show up. He's weird. got Scotty Pippen showing up tonight at Free Play Scotty Richards. Scotty Pippen. <laughs> no, he's gonna get Dink the Clown. Dink. <laughs> not the small yeah, one. Not He's you got to dink. Yeah. You got dink. Dink. Oh my god. Dink status. So stupid. <laughs> got L Dandy. So stupid. All of it. L Dandy showing up tonight at Richard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he will never be L doubted again. Dandy. L Dandy. <laughs> That's right. a special guest for tonight. Oh my god. <laughs> show oh. up, man. You like wrestling? L Dandy's here. 
What's your excuse? I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh my god! Again, we El don't have Dandy. enough time left in the day to explain <laughs> El Dandy. Oh my god! What's wrong with El Dandy? <laughs> Nothing's wrong. He's Who are you great. to doubt El Dandy? He's. I'm, I don't. The hell doubt of a wrestler. Him. He's. A, he is a hell of a wrestler. He is. He deserved a title shot. And he. Yeah. You know. Should have got it. Should have got it, man. El Dandy. Okay. Oh, shit. So <laughs> That's right. Have a. Uh... <laughs> I have a roommate update from, oh, last, from last week. It's not as spicy as you guys are wanting, but uh, from last week we kind of said goodbye hmm? to Keaton and Pika. They got they got photoshopped into this Keaton and Keaton's helmet, and everything else has been kind of a mainstay of VGM Wednesday since April. Um, Allison said, "You know what? You can keep you can keep the cats if you want," and I said, "You know what? I love them. Yes." So they are still around. That's why you keep seeing them on the stream. Um, Good. Yeah. So Keaton and Pika are are with me, and uh, I just sent I just sent Ian a live look at them. Uh, they are curled up into a Voltron esque tortoiseshell ball. <laughs> they transformed. Yes. More. Yeah. That's more than one cat. Yes. <laughs> All right, I believe you. Yeah. They. they the, uh, Keaton Mark and Pika are, are good at yeah, that's them right there. That's, that's exactly what they look like right now on, on the bed. They, uh, it, they're good because like if you're living in an apartment, and and Allison's told me this story before, that if you're living in an apartment where you're only allowed to have one cat, and those are your two cats, then uh, plausible <laughs> deniability as your <laughs> one true. cat keeps going in and out of the same room. Wow. You're just fast. Nice. Very nice. All right. All right. Well, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hopefully, I have some good news for you. All right. Tell old Dandy I said hi. hi. <laughs> yeah. What's up, old Dandy? Yeah. Congrats, Becky. Yeah. Hate all of y'all. Bye. Bye. <laughs> he's, he's not coming I mean, back. No. <laughs> that he's just, just going to show up at 4.15 p.m. to an empty stream and go, where's my show up music? At He's going to show up at us all with chairs <laughs> later on tonight. He's just going to gonna... chairs. We're not going to see him till 9.45 tonight. <laughs> uh -huh. Someone call Bal Paul Varghese and ask him to ask Mike to show back up. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now we're ready for VGM Wednesday where superheroes are the theme. <laughs> yeah. The show is starting now. Yes. Now. I, I uh, I'm actually with you, Ian. I really miss superhero mm -hmm. movies. Like, dude, yeah. My 10 a.m. walks. Like, I live very close to free play. I'm sorry to Alamo Drafthouse Richardson now. I am just dying to go see any kind of Marvel garbage movie. I'll go watch that terrible like Thor movie from before it became funny. Which one? Both of the first two. First one. I was gonna say both the first two. <laughs> that one terrible Thor I, I, movie. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to like single out one of them and then not think of uh, limit your options. quality because because they're both bad. Go with the oh shit, dude. And then Thor Ragnarok was good, but it doesn't matter. I watched them all. At the very least, Thor Ragnarok was entertaining. Yeah, I laughed. I laughed. It was good. Wonderful toy. I mean, yeah, yeah. Chris, you, it's always Chris, if you ever want to make Sarah mad, uh -huh. ask her what she thinks about Jane Foster. <laughs> you mean like Jodie Foster? Thor? That's the new Thor. She will go into a diatribe on how much she can't stand Jane Foster in the first two Thor movies. Yeah. Wait, what that? Wait, hold on. What? That's pretty bad. She, you how, she's a new Thor. Wait, it's gonna be a movie. Yes. Oh, well, in the comics, like uh, Thor's Thor. become uh, what? Yeah. Oh, Thor: Love they, and Thunder. They picked her because mm -hmm. in the comics she, she becomes Thor. Thing. Oh Jesus! I don't know. But I, I doubt it's gonna be Natalie Portman. I thought she kind of like lost her chances. Like she didn't want to be in anymore. So he talks. I will, yeah, I will look it up and see if we can find theme of She-Hulk from Marvel's yeah. Capcom 3. Interesting. Ooh. Yeah, that was cool. She's a good kick in that game. I saw yesterday that Allison Brie is more than likely becoming She-Hulk, so yes. she interesting. And I'm, I'm Allison all for it. Brie? 
Oh, I guess she. Yeah, she... I was about to say, for some reason, I was wrong, Allison. Or no, I was thinking Brie. Brie Larson. It's like, wait. Yeah, boat. Already, uh, sources, Marvel. sources, i.e., boat guy are confirming that Natalie Portman <laughs> is back. As uh, wow. Princess Amadala. Thor: Love and Thunder. I don't know how the fans are going. Then again, I don't know what's happening at all this summer. But yeah, I think the reason why I'd, I'd say I don't like miss it or whatever, it's just because I haven't been advertised it for, I guess, forever. Like, usually around this time, it's just like a bombardment of like, these movies are coming out. Nothing, nothing this summer. Yeah. Dude, I, I can't wait for the next hit cult classic DC blockbuster film. The first. First hit classic. A, 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 any any DC masterpiece. Yes. I mean the Snyder Cut that puts, that puts Scors- Scorsese to shame. That's that is like the the least likely timeline of any timeline. It's like DC movie wins Best Picture at the Oscars. It, it, like, I would not be would surprised at this happen? point. Like co- they would have the to take from the COVID TV shows. Within, like manifest <laughs> into a human being. And get elected emperor of the universe before. I like how people, yeah, happened. people, people talk about the Snyder Cut as if it's supposed to fucking put us all in the time machine and go back to where the movie is not made. Right. <laughs> like, the, the Snyder just, Cut isn't gonna do anything, dude. It's it it's sucks. literally just Iron Man. It just Robert Downey yeah, exactly. Iron Man. There it is. This is how I always intended it. The Snyder Cut is is a different universe, not movie universe. I mean, literally a new universe, like where. The DC movies don't exist. I, I've talked about this before. Like DC movies, I've I've fallen asleep in at least two of them. I I fell asleep during no <laughs> three because I've I fell asleep in in Aquaman, and then I fell asleep in Batman vs Superman, and I think I also fell I definitely fell asleep at one of the Superman ones. I think it was the Brandon Ralph one, unfortunately. I mean, to be to well, be no, fair. To be fair, if you saw a DC movie and you fell asleep, you probably had a better experience than most people who watched it. Because <laughs> at least you got some fucking sleep. Like, can I curse? Yeah. Well, yeah. Is it good? Well, uh, sure. Uh, Ian hit the dump button. He got it. Okay. Cool, cool. I mean, at least you got dump some button. some sleep, right? There's something <laughs> something productive came out of it. Other people actually watched it. It's true. way worse. Horrible. No, but actually, what? Uh, why this came about was uh, I've been watching uh, Doom Patrol. I, something that I didn't think about watching at all, but I wanted to watch something before, like Umbrella Academy, because I've been wanting some hero stuff, and Doom Patrol's a pretty good show. Then I'm in. Like, it because embraces I'm not the, the weirdness. Movies, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely need more. Thing. Yeah, last time I went to go see the the, the latest DC blockbuster, I went uh, midnight screening with Bokai. It was cool. What was the movie? Um, I Shazam? forgot. It, I forgot. It was really cool though. It was really awesome. Was it? Uh, don't know which one, but it was it was amazing. One of the best movies I've seen. Don't remember. Don't remember which one it was. Yeah, yeah I understand. I understand. <laughs> it was really good though, because it was from DC. I caught I caught one of the best uh, Star Wars movies. So of Aquaman. All time with <laughs> Wait a minute, so Boat Guy gets his his Cyclops theme twice, but Mike D can't get his for once? Ah, we start to show this. <laughs> Did you really? Wow. Okay. <laughs> so it might be... Uh... We couldn't hear it, but we started with it. <laughs> yeah, Ian did it on his end. Kazam? Is Kazam the Shaquille O'Neal one? Kazam, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. And Shazam... <laughs> is the one who is the uncredited sidekick to Superman in the Superman arcade game. Hmm. I don't think I've ever played or seen this game. Uh, what? Spider-Man Man the X-Men game. Or, or the Sp- Superman arcade game? Superman. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's surreal. Like, the idea that Superman can... <laughs> Die to some random thug punching him. Hey, really dude, weird. that guy—he's got kryptonite, uh, fucking <laughs> brass knuckles, bro. Yes. Uh, there's, there's a, a reason for it, bro. There's a sequence where he's in traffic with 
Shazam, <laughs> his partner, who's, by the way, uncredited, and it just says, like, he's another Superman. And yes, these are pictures from it. Um, he, he looks like a palette swap, but, I mean, it is Shazam, so he is a palette swap. Yeah, I was going to say, it's, um, it is a palette swap. Right. So, uh, there's a sequence where they're, like, jumping from car to car in a traffic jam. Like, it's a whole <laughs> bad dudes-esque level of this very bad, dude, wow. bad dudes-esque game. It's from Taito? <laughs> yes. So he can't, he can't just fly. He's got to jump from car to car because, question mark, question mark. What, what does it have Karate Champ controls? <laughs> <laughs> that might that might be a kit. No, that's, that's, no it's let, two players. Yeah, it's, it's two players <laughs> and the second player. It's simultaneous, too. One player plays as Shazam, even though we don't call him Shazam. I just remember that... the, the cab being really cool looking. I was like, oh, what? I, I remember seeing it at like a random grocery store. Well, and the music is good, and I, I added the track. Is I that like Superman it. running on a candy cat one right there in the middle? In the middle? Probably. Yeah, it looks like, yeah. Here to your left. Yep. Uh, oh, down. no, that's no. a metal slug. Oh, damn. Oh, uh, it's like a metal slug. It, it's, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was running on a candy cat. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that's Mike B's good news when he gets back. He's got the Superman arcade game installed I running, in his guys. city. It. By the way, He's for anybody who doesn't, for, us. for anyone who doesn't know, um, don't get hyped up when Mike B says I got a surprise for you. Mm. Yeah, it's just gonna be some <laughs> random game you don't care about, and <laughs> Mike doesn't care about, and nobody on the earth will play. <laughs> got uh, got delivered to his house. Hey guys, got a fifteenth <laughs> copy of WrestleFest. <laughs> Funny story about this game: fifteen years ago. <laughs> this One happened. Copy for each yeah. year. Does anybody remember the CDI wrestling game that came out? Me neither. I just got it. <laughs> but check this out. 15 years ago, this game. <laughs> His entire bedroom uh, is controlled by the activator from the Genesis. <laughs> Wait, was that like the Dance Dance Revolution type pad yeah, thing, yeah, right? Yeah. You just, I remember those ads. It had like a <laughs> ring. It looks like something that was like gonna, you know, pull, use a tractor beam to pull you back in. Yeah, he's, he's not cool enough for, to have a power glove controlled room. Which is, of course, so bad, but yeah, activator. I need to find this picture. What's this picture? Uh, I can tag you again on Facebook. Does anybody have that one picture of Mike B um, covering himself with the? Uh, well, I mean, with it's the my favorite. I'll just send it to you. Yeah. The Mike B covering himself like with the the track and field NES pad. What? You know that track and field pad, the one that you like step on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, like that's that's his cape. Yeah. I saw somewhere. My my favorites are indeed my favorites, and amongst them is Mike B. During his stint replacing Clark Kent, it was really good of him. Which one? Is yeah. during one of the Mike B. News things? No? All right, I just sent it to you via Facebook. For am sending. <laughs> Because it is indeed in my favorites. Man. So I've got I've got uh, one of uh, so I I, I I had a contact Jesse. Is it's mm -hmm. one of Mike B's? I, I would say she was in one of the top three tiers of ladies. Um, Ooh. because she was in the palatial estates. She managed to find a hidden cache of Mike B photographs, and she took pictures of them and just straight sent them all to me. And I was like, "Thank you, favorited them all just for another oh, time." So I have congratulations, congratulations on meeting Becky Lynch. I have like several young Mike Bs. Mike <laughs> B is Superman, which is what is happening now. Now I don't have shirtless dancing uh, Mike B winning at uh, yeah. DMX club competition but <laughs> that's the holy grail <laughs> yes that is the holy grail i offered her a hundred dollars as well to no avail 
<laughs> the free play lore will be <laughs> will will close the book on the lore when that when that is found. Yeah, yeah, I have I have so many of my favorites that I am very very happy to have there, including a uh, Ray Upshaw's Christmas card that everybody wishes was uh, photoshopped but was not. Oh my god! Have you seen that one? No. Uh, you can ask me about it tonight, and I'll show it to you, though you might not want me to. I'm looking at this. You won't be able to unsee it. I'll put it Oops. that way. There it is, yeah. Told you. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me get the, the full glory. Give it its own. And, uh... Yeah, all 8,000 DPI of him. So teach you to... Uh... What is this? Yeah. Like I said, one, one of the top three tiers of ladies sent me an entire oh, cache. Dude. Chris, why do you have this? <laughs> I was gonna say, dude. Like, it's, just... <laughs> it's like next level. Chris has a Mikey oh, like a uh, card. He has a whole. You gotta play the card, long game, so... man. Yeah, that one's good. He has need. He needs new images. You gotta, you gotta play the long game. Well, what, what's up with the boot? <laughs> I saved. Uh, <laughs> I saved the high TV video for like, I don't know, three and a half years, something like that. And then, then when Mike said he couldn't get video, I hit the button. I was like, we got video, and just bang. There it is. Oh, goodness. Oh, man. Da Damien's, Damien's, Damien's relatively new. There was a player who used to play with us named Sean Crane. And uh, <laughs> he played <laughs> He played boxer. Mm -hmm. So for one of the Spring Series tournaments, um, I kind of – Highlighted a fake rivalry between him and the previous champion, uh, Chris Wilson, who's like the nicest dude in the world. Um, but he's tall, um, and and I, I had Sorry. Sean as boxer, and I, I, I oh my god, that's so good. I forgot this this one existed. <laughs> oh my god, How many so variations good. of the of the window do you have? So good. I, I, can you There's put these in the mic in the in the in the frame for me? I need them. I need them. There's not enough real estate on the screen. I mean, we switched between them. I I, I do Mike B news every day. God, it's so good. <laughs> I forgot. Why is his neck I like just? Put this to. <laughs> his neck is just lurched over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna see you right block. now, Chris. So. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, one. this is gloriously bad, and I love it. Uh. <laughs> I forget. We had, like, a couple of, of different ones. We had that one. Mm. And what was the other one? <laughs> the, where's the... I thought we had... Maybe doesn't even know who oh, Penelope here, this... is. Have you ever talked to Penelope? you ever heard Penelope? There we go. <laughs> There's, you, you're missing so much lore. <laughs> wow. Okay, oh. you did it three times just to make sure it filled up the window. <laughs> oh, Billy. I get some backstory on the person it. looking out the window. <laughs> uh, oh, that's lower, that's lower, lower the wind left. Yeah, lower left portion of the screen. It's Josh Withers. Got it. One of our first VGM Live co hosts. So one of the ones who suggested. Um, Doing it live when the pandemic first hit everybody. Oh no, is it oh. the, the Superman going in the window? Oh no. What hasn't no. gone on the window? Watch that placement. Oh, <laughs> oh, wait, a, wait a second. No. Yes. Yes. Watch that yes. waste placement, please. Yes. How old was Josh wait when a this second. was taken? I, I got uh, get the, get the, billy <laughs> the right age. Yeah. No, no, I, I got something better. I got he, something was better. Old. he was old enough. He says something he's got better, then we're in big trouble. <laughs> yeah, I got something way better. Uh, I need to do this. Hey, you guys continue. I will yeah. uh, oh my God. surprise you when we get there. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, I, I do. Any, any kind of interesting photos. And, and yes, we have so much history that you have no idea. You just, you're just at the, 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 the shores of the country that is the Free Play Arcade Community Group. <laughs> Oh, yeah, um, you haven't even gotten to the docks, to the yacht that's gonna take you to the island where you're gonna see the the tip of the iceberg that is Mike B. Yeah, I've got I've got so much. Um, yeah, so that that video I was telling you about, 
Um, I trolled Sean's Facebook. Now, he's a boxer player, right? And I made the entire video for... Um, what is this song? <laughs> Spider-Man 2, the game pizza theme. Okay. What? It, it goes well with the, with the Mike B picture. It's true. It's true. <laughs> it um, does. Goodness gracious. Wow. Oh, what? It took off the cape? And I, I'm enjoying the episode of Mike B Wednesdays. <laughs> it's usually what they become. Yeah, I, I, I took it to be honest, this sounds like shit. Okay. This isn't music, dude. It's not even BGM music. Your band. Your band, Bokai. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna redeem my whatever bits or whatever the hell this is. I don't know how the Twitch works now. I'm gonna redeem whatever, how much money I gotta pay to make sure you don't do this. Why the fuck is speeding up? Because you're delivering. It's, it's, the delivery. Why is Spider-Man cold? delivering pizza? Oh, oh it's it pizza delivered. time. Is that Do, part it, of that um, whole joke? Uh, Ian. Pizza time. Mm -hmm. Ian, because because you're such a grand master at Photoshop, can you Photoshop Mike B's arm ho holding up a pizza and with that outfit? I mean, this is going to be the uh, gift that keeps on giving. So it'll... <laughs> I still want him to be holding a pizza. It'll be, it'll be weekly. Like in a box? Of like the, I want the box to be open and the pizza to be in the shape of a Pac-Man. Gotcha. Hold on. <laughs> Give me a minute. All right. So, so the video I I I, I <laughs> redid was "No Easy Way Out" from Rocky IV. Yeah. Uh, which is a great kitschy. Love that song. Song. Yes. Yeah, dude. That's on yeah, my so workout playlist. I I did a shot for shot remake, trolling Sean's Facebook. I put I put his uh, now fiance as Adrian. Some poor, random old guy was uh, oh uh, Mickey, is it Mickey? Who's it? Rocky's trainer, Burgess Meredith. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. So I put I, 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 I put some somebody in there for that. Like literally every single shot of this video I recreated, which is which itself was like a four minute long montage of Rocky IV. Um, Mike B got to be <laughs> uh, uh, Apollo Creed, so he dies like in the middle of it. <laughs> Dude, Mike's Mike's gonna come back to him and the <laughs> Superman holding a pizza. <laughs> I warned him. Can't it's like say you I didn't missed the him. Lord. Dude. I mean, he will you say I didn't warn him, him, but I warned him. You warned him not to leave, or else this was gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. It's a threat. I mean, that's just it, that's just an inevitability. I, 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 I'm not threatening. I just that's, that's, yeah, this is yeah, how it you're works. Right. It's one it's to one ratio. ratio. You know, you know if, if you leave, the X is gonna happen. Correct. We've been down this road before. If the if the, the dam leaves and the water just floods, right? Correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a threat. It's just that's just what's gonna happen. <laughs> the dam leaves I like it. <laughs> I really like when people use these photos and they still have like the eye stock like watermark oh, on yeah. it. <laughs> That's when you know it's good. I was trying to get Mike B to do a cooking stream. <laughs> he refused. He said that doesn't work for me, brother. Uh, yeah, because he doesn't do the cooking. Dang, I want pizza. Alright, I'm getting pizza. <laughs> Replay opens in like 34 minutes and I will be getting a pizza. We gotta make sure the pizza is in the shape of a Pac-Man. Oh yeah, I got that. It will be shortly. <laughs> no, I mean like the pizza might be yeah. shortly. <laughs> that is what Pac-Man is based on, so... Beautiful Joe. Now, can we consider Beautiful Joe a hero? I guess I he is, so. right? I think so, yeah. He's got a secret identity. Transform. Yeah. yeah. It's... And I, okay, and I thought your about that. Like video game versions of superheroes, like video game specific superheroes. Cause I didn't know, I didn't know if I, I could go like, there's a lot of, what's the one where you play like a cop superhero from uh, the Xbox? And you're like throwing Xbox cards and stuff. Halo? No, but <laughs> Master Chief is, is, you know, arguably a superhero as well. Boca, you're banned, dude. 
You're supposed to be banned. It was like a GTA come on. I'm looking at it. Talking about a... Uh, something... Crackdown. Crackdown. A crackdown. <laughs> yeah. You're like throwing cars and exploding them and stuff. Yeah. So is that is a he superhero? A superhero? Kind of. So I played a, a game for the Xbox 360 called 50 Cent Blood in the Sand. Ah, the documentary it's, it's, game, yes. Yeah, it's with the, yeah, like the... Based on uh, the true story of when yeah. uh, 50 Cent... What, uh, helped take blew, down Osama Bin Laden. Blew up all of... All of Afghanistan. <laughs> is, is, is 50 Cent considered a superhero because of that? No, no, it's 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 his appearance in any Def Jam games he may have may, may not have been an appearance in. Okay. So he counts though, right? I, I it works. Think? I don't know. Okay. That's that's the beauty about VGM but but we can't is. we definitely can't play. We make anything that's, work. That's where you're going with this. We can't actually play licensed music. Sorry. We'll oh leave no, that I, to I, other I was... streamers playing. Um, what was it yesterday? We were sent it to uh, Road Rash. Oh, no, I was going to suggest that uh, Mike, because I see him cutting out his arm, I was going to suggest that Mike D put his arm around 50 Cent. I was so happy to, to hear the, the music, music from Road Rash, too. What a great soundtrack. Uh, it's funny, because I went back and, and watched um, the guy who we raided the first time that was uh -huh. doing the, uh, what's the game? Oh, it was a Streets of Rage. Mm. I was like, hey, we just raided somebody who uh, is also playing a Game Gear game. Because that's not something you see all the time. Sega like Game Gear. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I think I think when we do our first episode of <laughs> BGM Wednesday Live Live, where it's actually for real he live. He has a third arm coming out of his chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not no, his chest, dude. Jesse. That's dude, not his dude. chest. <laughs> for more information, ask Becky Lynch. But um, oh the VGM no, Wednesday Live no, no, Live. No. <laughs> I just saw Mike... the photo. I'm sorry. Like I just came back and saw the photo. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Why not is... gonna. It's not gonna be there. Why does Mike B's like right arm inverted look like his left arm like upright? <laughs> I don't think that it's. A, it shouldn't be that easy for you to make his left arm look like his right. It's a mean it's flex, his... though. Uh, it's because it's this flex. is his. <laughs> <laughs> It's a power. <laughs> it's like it, it, that was a little too easy for you to make his left arm look like it's right. <laughs> I've got uh, I've got powers. Hold on, I can also do. Can I just do this? But yeah, for me, when we say live, live, we need we need to be licensed music. Favorite. He's license raising tracks. it. He's raising it like real high up in the air. Like he's really proud of that shit. <laughs> it's actually a professional wrestler whose gimmick is a pizza. Maker. Maker? Really? He makes pizzas on the way to the ring. Like, he tosses the <laughs> dough. And as a native New Yorker, that just offends me because I think the first time I ever saw him, he was wrestling in Austin. Uh -huh. And I immediately texted my friends in the Northeast who own a wrestling promotion, and they were pissed off. He's like, he, they're never booking him just because of the gimmick. And I'm like, yep, it's uh, Texas. Go figure. I mean, <laughs> sounds pretty lame even if like <laughs> even if it's well executed that sounds like a lame gimmick what is match too ironically enough nice. of course he comes out to that tomorrow well of course oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> Damien do you know of a wrestler um, wrestler in AAA called Nino Hamburguesa yes I, I, I do <laughs> I'm so glad you did. <laughs> <laughs> Triple thought, A is just very fun in terms I, of wrestlers in general and, and, and the gimmicks and just the fanfare. If you've ever gone to a show in Mexico, I, I highly recommend it to attend one wrestling show live in Mexico. You, I know Martinez Lucha does stuff here in DFW, uh, like Fort Worth, but seeing it in Mexico live is a totally different avenue. All right, Pac-Man. Do that. Okay. 
that's easy enough. Oh, I should have, man. I'm terrible at this, guys. It should have just been a cheese pizza, because, you know. Oh, yeah, cheese. Same color. I got this ready. Wow. Let me take this. Okay, wait, you didn't have the CK part. I like how everything is possible with Ian somehow. There's nothing he could not do. I do magic. You do? It's a great trick, man. You make sure it happens. <laughs> it's funny, I always do this too, because like on, so on Tuesday I end up streaming just like a design stream kind yeah. of things or whatever and so luckily like i just have all this shit open already so it ends up being short and i'm in, I'm in the anyway. mood pretty much yeah <laughs> no matter what it's always shirtless but yes good for all streams yeah man thumbnails gotta work those thumbnails all right, so what's the what's the one match that I have to watch tonight, Damien? Well, that oh well, I need to look at the match card. Give me like two minutes to actually see who's wrestling tonight. Because uh. I'm partial women's wrestling, uh, because I feel especially with NXT, but I want to be fair to everyone uh, and their viewing uh, I don't prowess. Mind. I don't mind. Oh, let give me like a minute. I'll see who's on who's on the card tonight. I told Damien he can he can veto. He can pull me off the super turbo or third strike or kill queen, whatever it is. Just to watch a single, match. single match. And I will I will heed the call. I'll leave the game right then and watch this must see match. Yeah, we're if you're just joining us, Free Play Richardson opens in twenty six minutes or so. Uh, but at seven PM tonight. We're going to do NXT and AEW Wrestling, or actually probably the uh, reverse order so that we can keep Jesse involved. <laughs> um, I appreciate it. Yeah. And we're going to play Street Fighter, have Third Strike out there, Super Turbo, have Killer Queen. We'll do a Tag Team Championship on Killer Queen. We'll do a Women's Champion on something, probably ST. Uh, maybe Tiger Lily can be our... Uh, our defending women's champion to start. Ray will be our defending ST champion to start. And just have one single match, one title match during the commercial break. So this won't be an open tournament. No, no. One person gets a commercial shot at Ray. Break and then, and then whoever wins comes back the next week to defend their title. Uh, El Segundo, Steve Austin's, uh, was it Stone Cold IPA, I believe. That's uh, making its free play Richardson debut. And yeah, it's just going to be a good time hanging out. Uh, Jesse's going to be there. Damien's there. Mike's there. I'm there. Carlos is there. Carlos not here during the... Uh, he's sleeping right now. If you... Uh, if you if you, you... If he has your phone number, then you know he was open... He's up quite early this morning still. So, getting that beauty a rest. I see it on Facebook sometimes. Yes. Yeah. You know who else's number he has? Corey. Really? Yes. Yes, he does the exact same thing to the owner of Freeplay. Huh. <laughs> Which is, uh... <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. I love Carlos so much. Thank you, Broken Skull IPA. Okay, so I've looked at both match cards, yes. and to be honest... Oh, he's uh, passing entirely. Don't have to watch this week. I don't know. Okay. To be honest, uh, I'm sorry for the AEW faithful, but I will say uh, on paper, best looking match is Rhea Ripley versus Dakota Kai for the number one contenders match for the NXT Women's Championship. Okay. I'm, I'm interested in, in seeing how the... Because there's been a lot of talk about how, how good the women's wrestling division is in NXT during our, uh, our podcast and even casual talks. And like, if you've seen Carlos' Facebook feed at 4 a.m., you will know that he's a huge fan of it, and I, I, I do want to see what the hype's all about. That's my two cents mm -hmm. for tonight. Okay. 
No, you get you, you you get the call. You made the call. I'm I'm absolutely into it. So so wherever I am in the arcade, you come find me. When it happens, I'm leaving the game and we're watching. It's it's. I feel like this would have been so much simpler if Ian uses a different picture. But like the fact that it's just nah. irrelevant. It's a hundred percent irrelevant. He can do anything. It doesn't matter. It's uh, it's more, it's free. Yeah, no. I don't have to pay for stock photos if I can just remove the. This <laughs> is impossible. The watermark, cool. right? Sure. Just, you just keep it on. Just I bet he can there. remove it. It's just, it's like nothing. Speaking of Tim Fallen. Yep. Silver the, Surfer. Oh no, I wouldn't say this is the Tim Fallen. Close. Isn't it his brother? I know they both do it. Yeah, uh, his, one, his brother is like a... I think he's right like back. a programmer, actually. <laughs> you make the music for the crappy game, I program it. Yeah. Like these match. This. Um, it's already taped. I'm not sure if it's tonight or not. Pre-taped. Yeah, I saw it on his Snapchat. He already like got it. He already got a tape. <laughs> Forgot who he was wrestling. I think it was Dijakovic, somebody like that. Is Snapchat still a thing? I'm not sure, dude. I I never used it. <laughs> I'm still not entirely sure exactly what it's for. Porn. I mean. <laughs> Every, every every app on the internet eventually devolves into that. And any like big breakthrough in technology, I don't know. Do you watch the uh, IT IT crowd? Um, I think it was on HBO. Like no, but I, I know of it. Yeah, um, the joke was like there's like a like a big tech convention, and like the <laughs> biggest the biggest like purveyors of tech is like the porn industry. And it's uh, the, somewhat yeah. kind of true, which is funny. It's true. Because like, that's the reason why we have like Blu-ray versus... Um, what was the other one? HD... There was like HD two, DVD. two versions. HD DVD, yeah. And the format that the that industry went with is the one that uh, eventually won those wars. But uh, yeah, that episode was funny. Well, the thing is, I, I forgot what I where I saw it, but like, aside from YouTube, like the number that like let's when you think of like the top ten video, like service uh, websites, you know, like just on demand video, the top ten, right? Number one is like YouTube, and then all the other nine are just porn, <laughs> because they're the only people who can like have that much like bandwidth to play millions of videos that have like a that big of a library it's either youtube number one and then the rest of it is just porn yeah it's like damn okay. <laughs> there's like a there's an interesting book about um because like it was, it was about information that was that people think is is hidden i forgot what the name of the book was but i've always wanted to read it it's like the things that people kind of look look up when they don't think anyone is watching basically and um mm -hmm. It's amazing this the type of shit that people like look up and like look for. <laughs> There's like a um, a graph or kind of like geographic location of what things look for in like certain states and countries. Even. I don't even want to know. Let people look it up like Lego porn and shit. Uh, but that's what Mike's doing right now. That was his surprise. Dude, he's so full of shit. He's like, I'll be back, bros. Like, nah, he ain't coming back. Nah, he'll, be, he'll be back 4.45 p.m. <laughs> long since off the air. He just sort of hops into the special guest on stream that is completely unpopulated. Hey, guys, I'm back. <laughs> Where'd everybody go? Yeah, I said I'd nice. be here at 2 p.m. <laughs> We're all supposed all to right, do the math. So I'll just leave <laughs> the stream up, and I'll leave it on this image. Whatever, yeah. whatever Ian finishes with. Yeah, just wait for Mike V to inevitably get into the Discord and talk. <laughs> What's crazy about this episode of VGM Wednesday is that 
it usually goes <laughs> off the rails. This one never even hit the rails. No, yeah, the rails it started were never... off the rails. Yeah. Right. This this entire episode was in the like painting on a wall that uh that Wiley e. Coyote draws and then the Roadrunner runs through. Like that's, that's <laughs> this entire episode. Inside, it never actually it never yeah. yeah, it never actually like got on the rails to go somewhere. Correct, yes. Um I just decided to get on because I heard I heard Mike B spouting some libel and I'm like, yeah, fuck this. As usual, yeah. He always does. I can't let him do this. He can't he can't represent anything without misrepresenting himself. Like he pays Chris so Chris can't speak up. Hmm. And Ian is a awesome dude. Ian is an awesome <laughs> so, dude. So he's going to take advantage of people who are, who are awesome. So no one's going to stop him. So I had to come on. I have to, uh... Yeah. I have to figure out how to post as DJ Terminator Mike B. Since I own that page somehow. Trying <laughs> <laughs> to look for... What makes sense? Are you going to put Josh in, like, some Manhattan... <laughs> some Manhattan... <laughs> rot- um... Like some, like loft in Manhattan. <laughs> Just make it ridiculous like this. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> the space city. Let's see. <laughs> will this work? Uh, I mean, with you, I bet it will. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say uh, oh, whether it works work. or not is up to you. Whether you want it to work or not. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> he's like in the highest building in the world. <laughs> Looking oh, at the he's window. flying, and Mike B is flying. Perfect. <laughs> Mike's flying. <laughs> uh, Huge pack pizza. Huge pack of pizza. <laughs> oh, you know I. I like how he gets smaller and smaller every time <laughs> you resize it. <laughs> he's short enough already, man. <laughs> Don't bury Here's the, the thing, man. Though. If this is a Pac-Man pizza, it needs pellets, right? And like better pellets. Little pepperonis extra, on the pellet. Yeah, extra pepperoni. What am I doing, man? Fail. Nick would make a killing on DoorDash fees right now if this was him, like delivering to <laughs> rooftops. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Yes. Dude, how are you making pepperoni so effortlessly? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm like, how's he going to do it? Is he going to cut it out? Is he, nah, he just like just makes nah, photocopies it, whatever. And it's like, it looks oh, better man. than the stock photo that it came in. Yep. Now he's hungry for fake pepperoni. <laughs> yeah, I have to say this is Mike B. Delivery. <laughs> War of the Gems. Who did this? That was, it has to be Bo Guy. See, this this goes in the archives. It's not a VJ Wednesday. It's, it's, it's a hut light. <laughs> Alright. This, this might be a little too high. Hold on, let me, let's, let's keep looking for um, Hey Chris, it's Claw Superhero. I mean he does fly. <laughs> yeah, he flies. I think he's more super villain, but why is he a villain? What's that? Why is he a villain? Uh, he wears the mask. He has what a do you claw. Do with I mean, what, uh, what, what, fucking what? Batman wears a mask. He's an assassin. Batman? <laughs> oh, claw. I mean, dude, I saw the Batman movie. He assassinated a lot of people. <laughs> True. Claw is not an assassin. He's a bounty hunter. <laughs> is he? Nah, I mean, he's an assassin. I don't, I don't understand it, it, why a matador is an assassin. Like Street Fighter lore never makes because sense. Because he's a ninja. Yeah, he's a, nin- he, Spanish ninja assassin Spanish ninja. matador. It's, it's really simple, dude. Native is it Amer- Native American, that claws a ninja? No, it's, it's Native American slash Thai. <laughs> What's that, Damien? So was it confirmed that Claw is a ninja, or was he ninja trained? He was ninja trained. He's okay. a matador who was trained to be a ninja, so he mixed both because he's a fucking genius. <laughs> <laughs> No, Sagat is not Native American actor Wes Studi. Only in the movies. <laughs> oh, hey, no, can, no, no, no. Uh, and Street Fighter the movie, the game. Yes, digitized. Yes, yes. you are correct. Yeah. Does anybody have a PC I know, strong enough? My, my and... E Honda knocked Mike B's Wes Studio Sagat out of uh, <laughs> <laughs> the the uh, Street Fighter the movie, the game Tuesday Night Fights Finals. 
Does anybody have a PC strong enough to um, deep fake Mike B into Street Fighter the movie the game? <laughs> oh. I got. oh god. Just oh, that would be now. amazing. And just don't I'll even make it a donations. clip. Release the whole movie like that. <laughs> it's not a clip, it's the movie. You wanna watch it, watch the movie. It's on YouTube. So a cut by cut release of just having Mike B as Sagat from Street Fighter the movie. <laughs> yeah. But the whole movie's intact. Yeah. Right. Raul Julia and Mike B. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the whole movie's the been the, the, the whole movie's been condensed to just Raul Julia and Mike B. Becky Lynch as Chun Lee. Yeah. Oh, we can leave Ming Na still as Chun Li. I think that would still work. Becky Lynch is Cammy? Sure. She's just Irish instead of British. That's fine. Same thing. Yeah. Becky Lynch is Claw? No. Has has some screen time with uh with That's Mike Charlie B. Nash, Sagat. actually. <laughs> Dude, I want to say <laughs> who would make like the best act. I'm, I've I've been trying to think who would make the actual best like Claw. It'd definitely be a woman. <laughs> you think so? Oh yeah. You don't think the guy from the the what is it the uh, Black Eyed Peas played a good claw? <laughs> <laughs> Was that actually him? Abu, yes. Shit, dude, that's rough. Let me look here. I For real? I thought that was just a meme. Hey, look it up. Tabu from the Black Eyed Peas played claw. I, I know I know about like the the crappy claw. I just didn't know it was literally the guy from Black Eyed Peas. I thought it was just a meme. Damn, dude. I vote. I, um, what's that guy's name? Jake Gyllenhaal. He'll he'll do a good <laughs> claw. Only if he's dressed like the Prince of Persia. <laughs> That's what I'm basing it off. <laughs> yeah. His glorious panty and hair flip. Yes. Yeah, dude. Gotta have the hair. Gotta have the. The, uh, the jawline. I'm, I'm thinking about this way too hard. I'm like on Google looking at pictures of Claw trying to think of which actress should play him. Dude, Jake Gyllenhaal. I already said <laughs> it. I don't know. That or the guy who played Han Solo in Solo. <laughs> Maybe. Or we can just get Hokuto to do it. Yeah, he is. He is pretty enough. <laughs> Jason Momoa. <laughs> yeah, why not? I don't know, I don't know if he's a uh, Spaniard. You need someone slender but like ripped to play Claw. He's one of those like Korean K pop dudes. Tony Ja. Rain. Rain. Tony Ja. <laughs> um, yeah, you gotta. To me, it's got to be in the voice. You got to be able to do the voice. Well, in that case, Keaton. Michael Keaton? No, my cat. <laughs> I thought Michael Keaton too. I said, wait, what? Boy, <laughs> I mean, he could do the dub, maybe. Yeah, Bo guy from his LinkedIn profile. He looks like just like Paul. <laughs> He's got the chest. <laughs> He's already has a bow tie, just like Claw. I'll direct the movie. Now, the first scene you're gonna wall dive, right? The second the movie starts. Grab. Just walk up and grab somebody. Yeah. Let's see All here. Right, that's Mike B is Superman outside of Josh's window. Yeah, how, how do we get to this? We right. win. Here, here's my suggestion <laughs> for Claw. Jennifer Lawrence. What? Yep. That's what I want for Claw. I need to Google her. Which one is she again? She's the uh, star of Hunger Games and also <laughs> Mystique from the newer X-Men oh, fuck Hell no, dude. Are you high? Oh. It's all about the face, man. I gotta have the handsome face. Look, the nothing face. like him, dude. Claw's way more like good looking than her. Okay, it, it's it's cartoonishly good looking. I understand. <laughs> My man's a masterpiece. Be anybody who looks as good. Jake Gyllenhaal. Go Google Jake Gyllenhaal. 
know Prince of Persia. G Y L L J N L A. H A L O. H A L O. He said, I watched Prince of Persia. <laughs> Surprising to me the amount of people who've actually it's, seen that shit. It's superhero ish, so I've definitely. It's not in the movie theater, so that says a lot. I saw it at the movie theater. <laughs> I saw it in Mexico. On TV. Oh, oh God, that better, that better not back? be. Oh, Mike, are you back? Hey, back. Hey, you'll never you guess ready, what Mike? we've been up to. Pizza? <laughs> Pack what? Paxa. Why is that a pizza? Hold on. <laughs> I've got. Why not? Let's see. Hold on. Two extra pepperonis, I... man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is. I've got some breaking news here. All right. What oh. game that we don't Sounder? care about did you get delivered? No, 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 not Sounder. that. No, no, no. We need Ian. the drum roll. Ian, I sent you something. What's up? Becky, congratulations on twin. It it's is a boy. not that. Um, baby B. Tiger Lily, who, who, who do you have that can play claw? <laughs> oh, no way. Okay. Oh, yeah. The no search dandy. is over. Search finally. Is over Mike, everybody. It's finally happened after months of trying to locate this product. Are you serious? That's at my local Kroger, dude. It has happened. Is it Big League Chew? It is not Big League Chew. Oh, I, I could have got you these, dude. They're, they're down the street from me. I have tried multiple stores for months, and I have not been able to find these. Uh, dude, there's a Kroger like a block from me that has to. Yeah. It's pretty dude, underwhelming. The, the, my, the, the Mike, Kroger... Mike, incapable of walking down the street. Look, thank you for putting one song on the VGM Wednesday <laughs> list. We're, we're going to start with that milestone. Why did it take you an hour to get them? Because the store not one block from me had them. <laughs> and I had to drive a little bit to get them. These stores closer to me never had them, <laughs> as I repeatedly looked. Finally, the Walmarts in Duncanville had them. You drove, drove to Duncanville. Duncanville? Well, you drove I, to Duncanville? I drove to Duncanville. Not not like Duncanville glad, proper, glad, but like Glad you're outskirt. invested in VGM Wednesday Live and, you know, it worked well. <laughs> driving the, the milk for the, John Cena it, cookies. Do you have them reserve it for you or something? When you call <laughs> them, yeah, they do. Like, they the it they give you a call. Hey, Mike, you're not gonna guess what just shipped in, bro. <laughs> bro, <laughs> down here. they ended it with bro. <laughs> the call bro. from Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's your boy, your brother. Connect. I'm gonna get these. Yeah, <laughs> man. I'm telling you, like, if, from what I understood, for maybe six months whatever there was a store the walmart in garland had them the kroger up the street from me closer to me in dungaville did not have them i have a question the walmart close to me did yes, not yes. have them i have a question yes why are you showing us this that was the because <laughs> we talked about it earlier you missed it i think but i yes, was in breaking did. news he wanted to yeah show yeah this is uh i was doing a little Research you all the way days to Duncanville for breaking news, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the breaking I, news uh, that I'm I pulling caused. up the. Yeah, okay, yeah. There you go. I'm pulling yeah. up the uh, the bigger image. That's 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 <laughs> that's, that's a close up like right shot. There. That's a close up shot. <laughs> Did you fuck up his face on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> like no, that's out actually, <laughs> actually, what it looks like. Yeah, it's like his it. his head is not centered to his like neck. I think we need this too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, like finally. With four of your favorite WWE superstars, and it's like Macho Man, Roman Reigns, Becky Lynch, and John Cena. Yeah, one of these is not like just the other. Just those four. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, just those four. So uh, look, at, look at all the new stars that were made since Macho Man. Yeah, Wait. just three. <laughs> That's it. Three, and I still have not heard my song. <laughs> Which we literally Still started the show with while you were listening. No, no, no. I didn't hear it. I did not hear it. So, yes, finally, the the good humor superstar cookie they finally, sandwich. They finally hooked been, you up. Has been covered. It's not quite like the original WWF ice cream bar. 
Uh, it's missing the uh, chocolate layer, but uh, we'll see how it is here soon enough. Is that John Cena picture real? Oh yeah, that's real. Yeah, yeah that's real. That, that's that is video. real. And he's really yeah. in John Cena's entrance video. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, what the hell is that blurred part? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is where we took it from, right here. Oh, the one. Uh, oh, yeah, I remember this. This was like the night after WrestleMania, where Mike B made the, his debut. <laughs> Didn't make my debut. <laughs> Came in at the main event, just clotheslined Cena, <laughs> walked Jeez. out, and then when <laughs> supposed to come back to do the, you know, to finish the feud, he's like, "Nah, bro, I, I got my heat." <laughs> God, I got to keep my heat, brother. This was uh, this this was Raw in Austin, and uh. I got off work slightly early for this because I knew where I was sitting uh, with my friend Marcus right there. And uh, I was not off the next day. So after Raw, <laughs> I drove back and got back like at 2.33 a.m. or something like that. That's exactly. And still, and still went to work the next day. <laughs> what uh, what you described is exactly what I did for AEW. <laughs> Same exact thing. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> got here like at 3 a.m. <laughs> mm-hmm. Absolutely. That's how that works, man. That's how that works. That's right. So insane. So, so. Checking the Facebook and seeing Mike B and John Cena at the top <laughs> of the community group. Jeez. How have you guys like not been flagged? Huh? How have you guys <laughs> not been like flagged? I'm not gonna talk about those episodes of Mike B News. No, no, no. At a certain point, it's just like you know, Facebook or Twitch. They just see like, all right, this might be. The pizza, Superman, and Josh. It's like, all right, just shut the shit down. Nothing, nothing good's coming from this. Ooh, this is a nice picture. Uh, I'll forward you the emails. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Could you imagine somebody who just doesn't know anything about like free play just stumbling upon this? <laughs> just stream? watching this. It's like Jesus Christ. I think I always said that like the, the thumbnails for this must look so weird because it's let's see Markiplier pole dancing, <laughs> uh, pizza, pizza Hut. Mike, what do you think about? I, I, know, I know you're ignoring it, Mike B. But what do you think about the picture here? Man, um, I didn't like those boots that they sent for that costume. That's what I was saying, dude. Like, what the what, what was up with that? Yeah, yeah. But I, why would you pick those boots? I, I didn't pick it. I, I picked the costume. But why did uh, you wear it? When, when, when Clark Kent went down, yeah, he did not have that long to procure a costume to uh, to replace him for those two months while Clark Kent was on IR. And those weren't like actual boot boots; those were like uh, like coverings that you put over your shoe. I mean, I, I you know, I'm just trying to, I'm, not, I'm not trying to make fun of you, Mike, but like, I get the, the oh really? Out- I am <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> I I get the outfit, but like, what's with the pizza? Why were you holding a pizza? Man, I I wasn't holding pizza, although you weren't I, holding. I almost pizza. got me some, almost got me some pizza to go just now too. <laughs> oh, but why are you holding a pizza? Why, why were you wearing that while holding a pizza? I well, I was not holding a pizza. Explain. Um, so, how, well, the, how can, do you explain the image I'm looking at right now? I you're gonna have to ask uh, the magical artist Ian about that. Right, I, I mean, it came that way. It, I pulled it off of my my phone. It's in my I was gonna section. say like he did, Ian didn't. Oh. Ian yeah. just put put it up there, dude. All he did was cut you out. I was explaining. Mm-hmm. I, I I have uh, I have sources within the top three tiers of ladies that, that Mike B knows that, that'll send me pictures. <laughs> tears. You have tears of ladies? No, Damn. don't have tears. Yeah, only only in the top three did it actually Share, get Mike. the to visit the palatial estate. Yeah. That's why he has the different phones, like the burner phone and stuff. The, so if you're the, like burner phone. Okay, just different. the inner right. the inner sanctum, if you will. Right. Top three tiers get to actually visit the estate. Uh, <laughs> tiers four and five have to deal with the burner phone. <laughs> burner <laughs> phone. Yeah, tier, <laughs> tier six and beyond, like you don't even get the, the phone number, the fake phone number. You just sort of get it, get his uh, derelict uh, Snapchat and that's it. Hmm. Yeah, I thought you meant tears as in he's made them cry. Because I was going to say, dang, Mike, really? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Well, I mean, yeah, that's that's after like tier eight or so. But tier eight. I, I, meant, I meant, no, like, yeah. Like a, like a fighting game tier list, if you will. Can we do a, can we do a lens flare behind his head? 
<laughs> it's just inexplicable lens flare, like there's a light behind him. Don't know where it's coming from, doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> the sun's over there, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the sun's over there, but there's a brighter... There's something brighter than the sun behind his head. <laughs> a God, flare. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> there. So depending yeah. on the tier, Mike, does that oh, mean shit, you collect cell phones from the ladies at the palatial estates like Derek Jeter used to do? Right. <laughs> yeah, get a little notebook. Yeah, that's, that's hey, the look, there you go. He's got it. Tier three and tier two. Yeah. I, I there we go. A, a gift basket <laughs> as they leave. <laughs> Thank you for spending time here. Your gift basket contains your phone again. Yeah, so. it's got a comp it's complimentary. Uh, it's a tote bag, Mike. You tote bag. <laughs> tote bag. Uh, <laughs> Check it out, Mike. Got a lens flare. <laughs> <He's there now. laughs> oh. Coming off of you. That's kind of cool. Yeah, you can make the lens flare like more obnoxious. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, dude, that's it's perfect. Fun, you can barely <laughs> see that it's Mike B. It's like almost like you know you woke kind of woke up and you're like, what was that in the sky? <laughs> was that bird. Mike? It looked like Mike. It's a plane. It's a celebrity what? DJ. No. Like that one DBZ movie plane. where you think it's Piccolo and it's actually Krillin dressed as Piccolo. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Superman? Like, nah. It's Mike Howard B making Jammer. sure you thought it was Superman. Here comes the hero. The one whom you seek. <laughs> I'm, I'm right assuming in front you guys of left this for me to put the X-Men Arcade song on there. Like intentionally. Because I could not believe it when I was looking at a near 100 songs at that point and we did not have Here Comes the Hero from the X-Men arcade game. Hmm. Still haven't heard my song. <laughs> to be honest, the only like, X-Men arcade song that I remember is Aww. That's all I know is Colossus Aww. screaming. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is, there is a 10-hour YouTube video of that, too. Good. Oh. There should be. Is it? Was it filmed in free play? Is that a free play? <laughs> yeah. uh, Saturday. <laughs> that's a 14-hour that's a Play Arlington. Ah, ah. Ian, how does your computer not like overheat like to shit? <laughs> oh, it's, it's pretty old. Oh my god. Like, what kind of it, process it are does. you using to like keep up with all this? Uh, Pentium really 2. Old... Yeah. <laughs> Pentium. <laughs> Pentium <laughs> Which you don't know, it's, it's a couple of cell phones taped together actually. <laughs> a couple of Nokia phones fused together, melted. Mm hmm. Okay, well, I gotta get back to work. So I gotta you. get out of here, crew. Yeah. All right. So I'll see y'all in a few hours. Yeah. See y'all. For the, the wrestling. Peace. Peace. A good time to take off as well. It's three. Free play yep, is open. Yep. Free play Richardson Release. is open. Release everybody from this uh, madness. <laughs> Yeah, you want me to hit the button? Yeah, we can. Uh, I will throw up all this extra stuff. I, I got a little something extra to put on here. Okay, okay. We're waiting. We're waiting. Got some bonus bonus tracks. A day of all bonus tracks. Uh, maybe we don't make Not Not there. complaining. It's, it's been fun. It's Yeah, it's all bonus tracks. Mike B. With that yellow, I'm just going to recreate it instead. I don't know what type this actually is. I do want to thank everybody for joining us. So oh, I should look for a raid target while you're doing this, also. Yeah. Send it somewhere. Make some more friends. But yes, Free Play Richardson is open now until 11 p.m. We will be watching NXT and AEW Wrestling at 7. And Stone Cold's Broken Skull IPA is available right now. Hopefully, it'll last. The supply will last until 7 p.m. I assume he got Hopefully, no little kids are drinking the beer before we all get there. Mike, Mike P is fully aged. 
You notice he had to leave, like, post-haste, whenever mm -hmm. uh, the bar opened. To, uh, Becky, quote, Becky quote, told him to get off the stream, that's why. Yeah, yeah, you talk about a high tier right there. Do you want to congratulate them on the news with twins? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm looking for raid targets. And if uh, anyone has raid suggestions, let me know. But I'm looking. Alright, I thought Game Tracks was on for a little bit. He was like modding his um, uh, Game Boy Advance. Yeah, I always, I always look for people who are following first, and we certainly look at game tracks. Uh, I see somebody named Freeplay Arcade on. What? That'd be VGM Wednesday Live. Join us next, uh, tomorrow, a full day's worth of streaming. We have Mike B News at noon. We have Nerd Side of the Ring at 1. We have no Hall of Fame because I'm still in the moving throws. Uh, but Pinballers at 6.30 and the live matching game at 8 o'clock. It's Thursday. We stream all day on Thursday. Do we have a full group for live matching game? No. In fact, I've been busy, so I haven't been able to contribute much. Like, uh, Nicole is in, and I'll be in, but I haven't been able to follow anybody else around. Yeah. <clears throat> I can ask my other other roommates if they'll jump in. <laughs> I'm not sure. Damon, what have you been witty... part of the... that, that yet? Huh? I was going to ask if Damien has been also. Uh, Damien does a podcast uh, Tuesday night, right? Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Thursday, Thursday night. It's, Thursday uh, night, big old, I'm big usually old booked. Mm -hmm. uh, An excellent I usually podcast. come to catch the tail end of the matching game in the stream, but by that time it's already over or just about to be over. Did Sarah Was Sarah already a, a contestant? I think so. Oh. This thing happens every week. They do start to blend in. I mean, we, we you can ask her tonight when you see her. Yes, I definitely will. I tell you, I watch that one certain episode like once a week now. Do you really? No, no joke. Yeah. Wow. I, I I haven't watched it, I haven't watched it this week yet, but I'm, it's I can't stop. I, I'm gonna have to go back and watch it then. I'm, I'm glad we I'm glad it happened it was too good dude. I was I was definitely enjoying myself at the time too yeah I knew what was happening the looks on faces yeah the looks on faces were freaking great I actually think uh, are we still gonna try to do the uh, the idea that uh, Stout had with with Danny Danny would become like a panelist I would love to or a contestant yeah that's that's got to be on um, mostly on Stod, Stod right? He's got to have the time. Uh, yeah, him. I guess I guess Danny too, in a way, because he has to. I guess he wouldn't have to write it, because yeah, Stod would have to write it. Whatever I'm doing here, but I swear it'll. What the heck is speed running now? Not a uh, ninja gun? That's surprising. See everyone later on tonight, I guess. I have to head and get some work done and start packing my apartment for my move next week, so. Oh, you're staying in the area, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm moving. Uh, a little bit more south, uh, down by LBJ Station, uh, found a $300 less apartment in a safe neighborhood and within walking distance from a train station, which is my con my New York lifestyle come to life here in Dallas. So, well, if you wanna if you wanna go back in time and, and be my roommate, let me know. 
<laughs> I, I, I will find I, the time I, machine. I am, I am within walking distance of a train station. Are you? Uh-huh. We'll talk tonight then, because <laughs> I haven't officially signed my lease yet. So Really? Yeah, no. Uh, talk tonight then. We'll talk tonight. Bart's Nightmare on the Super Nintendo speedrun? That's weird. I, I, I've seen that pop up a couple times. I forget who was doing it, but I was like, oh, I remember these old Simpson games on the Super Nintendo. Or Nintendo, actually. Super Nintendo. The one with the aliens invading is always kind of awesome. Okay, this is on group. Group. Do this. Yeah, the audio. Wait. The, the selection is always really wonky at this time. Yeah, it's you get people from Europe. Like midday. Yeah. Like you want to support the scene, but the scene is kind of still asleep. At least in our area. Yeah, this is definitely um, like European time. Yeah. Yeah, Norway, we got. Madness going. Let's try that. Why not? SBD Wolf. You good oh, to go? Man. Should I hit the button? Yeah, that could be good. Uh, if people need to see this stuff, it'll be in the Facebook group. And I'm starting to toss these in um, Discord as well. Thank you so much for joining us in VGM Wednesday Live. We'll see you tomorrow at noon and VGM Wednesday, presumably next Wednesday at noon. Love you guys. Yep. Enjoy the raid of, uh, looks like SBD Wolf is playing Marble Madness on the NES. And I will see you at the arcade tonight. Wrestling. I see this, uh, Marble Madness happening now. Yo, free, free, free Play Arcade, welcome. Thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. And welcome everybody from Free Play Arcade. I am SPD Wolf and I'm playing some games that are on the Big 20 list. If you're unfamiliar with Big 20, uh, type exclamation mark Big 20. Yeah, hope you had a good stream. Minus five seconds. And that, oh. Okay. Do you have to turn off uh, Facebook as well? Oh, yeah, man. I mm, this is not a good silly race. Have a good night, Facebook. We'll see you at Triple Richardson. See you, Facebook.